Okay, guys. <clears throat> Wait, how come it has to be this way? All right, it's cool. We will, um, We'll just make it work. We'll just make it work. Okay, everybody. We're going to be doing <clears throat> a live stream. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? So, hold on a second. It says I have a poor connection. Can you guys hear me okay? Can you guys hear me okay? Um, what's up? What's up? I want to make sure you people can hear me on YouTube and also in person. I'm going to be doing 200 high-end singles today and um, hopefully people can hear me on YouTube. I'm just going to double check it's working on YouTube and then we'll get started. Hopefully you guys can hear me. It's working? Okay. So guys, this is the plan for today. I'm going to run 200 singles. Is it still frozen? Okay. I am going to run 200 singles today starting at a dollar. Okay, so um, everything starts at a dollar today. I'm going to go over every single item in person. And um, if you have any questions, um, let me know. And what I'm going to try to do is show you guys an example of making $2,000 a week. Okay, so for today, on these 200 items, my cost is $800. For me to make $2,000 profit, what's up, Futuristic Fusion? I would need to do $3,300 plus shipping on whatnot today. So I'm going to try to demonstrate this on YouTube. Um, and whatnot at the same time. So if you guys have any questions, throw it into the chat and Christy will be here in a few minutes and she can help answer the questions on YouTube. Um, but right now we're gonna get straight into it. Um, let me see here. We'll start with the first one and we'll just keep going. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna start with What am I going to start with? Let's start with Patagonia. Okay. What's up, guys? So hopefully you can see, I'll be running the entire show today. This is a women's small fleece. Here's the Patagonia logo. So on YouTube, hopefully you guys can see the logo. Okay, let me know. Um, thank you, thank you. I love Keith Herring. He's cool. So this is a pocket tee. Um, so this is a Patagonia fleece, pretty straightforward, teal color, contrast color. What I'm going to try to do is give you guys the ideas of how I would list this stuff on eBay. Typically the stuff on whatnot sells for a little bit cheaper than eBay because of the, um, the, the nature. There's only a few people in here versus on eBay. You can wait three to six months for the item to sell. So this is a Patagonia fleece. It's a women's quarter zip, actually women's half zip. So you want to accurately describe your items to the best of your ability, and that's going to help you get premium money for each item. So today I'm going to run 200 items, start to finish, give you guys an idea of what kind of stuff I like to sell. Okay, so here's something a little bit different <clears throat> that I want to go over with you guys. So this brand, Penguin, not necessarily a great resale brand, but I'll tell you guys why I picked this up. This is a Penguin size extra large men's shirt. I really like the pattern, okay? So this pattern, it's kind of like a, a video game floral pattern. Um, I think it's really cool. I'm actually going to lower the timer down to 15 seconds too so we can get through all this today. Um, I pick stuff that I feel like is a good pattern. So here's the thing. It may not sell for what I'm looking for, which is an average of $10 profit on every single item, but it does sell fast for me. So on an item like Penguin, not necessarily the best brand, I'm going to still sell it because... I want it to, um, I think the good pattern still gets people excited and you want to make sure you have a mixture of different pen, or of different price points for different people. So not everybody can afford Patagonia. Yes, Penguin Munsing wear. Yep. So items like this, um, I will pick up even though they're not necessarily premium brands because they still sell. And I'm not going to expect $10 profit on an item like this size extra large. 
um, I'm gonna expect these items to sell for less money because of the brand. I'm gonna try to let the pattern sell it. Penguin's an okay brand. The condition is excellent. Pit the pit on this is 24. So EBB sellers, I appreciate you. You can see, right? This didn't sell for as much as the Patagonia. If you had a limited budget, I would be more picky and wait for Patagonia, but it's not like this shirt won't still sell. Okay, let's go to the next item. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna go. Okay, so it's going on YouTube. So are there any questions that pop up in that chat on the, on the desktop? Mm -hmm. Um, you can go ahead and ask me and I'll show it. Okay. And can you see me in this camera as well? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, guys, let's do it. So, and then I'm going to number these um, starting with 1300, um, starting on the front of the rack, and we can just do it as we go. Got it. Um, okay. Next is this Lululemon jacket. It's women's size 10. It's black. Obviously, Lululemon is going to sell better. One thing that makes it easy for you to tell if it's women's or men's is the tag. So this is actually a white tag and the men's tags are black. So this is Lululemon. It's black. It's a black jacket for women. Or I'm sorry, it's a sweater. So it's a half zip sweater. It's got kind of this half hood. It's pretty cool. 100% um, polyester on the exterior and the interior is spandex and polyester. And of course, Lycra is their brand name. So when you're taking photos of the items, you want to show all the flaws. This one doesn't really have any flaws. It's just generally worn. Um, so it's slightly faded, but not in one area faded more than the other. Just the entire item is slightly faded. Make sure when you're taking photos of items, you try to get a little bit of space between you and the camera. So this right here is a more true color than up close. See how it washes it out. So D Parker, you have... Um, you have two minutes to update your payment, but appreciate your bid. It looks like we have a few questions. Okay. Um, I don't know if you saw this one yet. Are these codes new or used? All of these are pre-owned, and I can't see the questions on YouTube, so Christy will ask me as we go, and we'll take our time through it. And then we got a couple after that. Okay, let me run this first. Okay. So let me get the timer a little bit shorter. So this is kind of a class. So for me, silver tab jeans sell really well. There's the tag, silver tab. Remember there are modern silver tab and there is vintage silver tab. So you wanna check this out. This is men's, which men's jeans sell a lot better. Size 36 by 34. So silver tab does really well for me. It's a Levi's brand, as you remember. This is, I believe this is not vintage because this looks like an item after the first item, I believe is 150 shipping. And you can see Adriana did get a steal. I do sell men's jeans um, for more money than women's jeans for the most part. Okay. So I'm picking popular brands. I'm trying to pick popular sizes. So we'll go with the next item now, which is this Madewell sweater. I think, is this off the shoulder? No, it's not. What, what neckline is this? Okay, guys, I need help with this, with this um, neckline. V-neck. Madewell, thank you, Thrift Meets Boutique. So this is a great Madewell size, size extra large. It's green. Go ahead, question. Can I call their names out as well? Yeah, go ahead. Hey, Suja, Vaughn says, do both bags on the site leave the shipping included or is it plus shipping? On my site, dailyrefinement.com, all the shipping is included. So somebody actually pre-bought this lot today that we're running for $2,000 because I'm going to give the profit difference to the person who ran it just for, just for fun. But I need to do $3,300 today in order to make $2,000 profit to give you guys an idea of the, of the breakdown. So made well size extra large. This is something that you can find pretty much anywhere with mall brands. We'll go on to the next one. How would you like me to um, state the questions or the flow? Um, Okay, let me run this after I'm done explaining. Okay. Guys, Converse jacket. It's really nice. It's men's size large. So here's the logo. Can you guys see it all right? So this jacket is gray. It's faded. Um, outerwear for me typically sells better. So you're going to want to describe all the buttons. Show the lining if you can. Show the zips. Show the enclosures. Show the back. Show the sleeves. Um, all this is really important to get the customer to pay more. This also has... Um, elbow guards. Style Maven, nice pickup. Question? Question. Do you avoid large 
larger size and stuff goes to let go and mend shirt for example? I don't. I prefer larger sizes because most people are larger. So we're going to go with Lacoste. Yeah, I know. These are some great buys. Today will be some really good deals. And again, this is why these items will sell for more on eBay because you can really wait. This is Lacoste size 7, which I would guess is size extra large. So, um, because I think Lacoste size 4 is small. As you start to sell brands more and more, you start to get an idea of um, what the different sizes are. And again, some items I sell do not reach $10 profit, but the goal is for all the items today to average $10 profit. And items that aren't as premium, like this Lacoste polo, I'm not gonna ask all the money because these items aren't gonna generate all the money because it's just a regular polo. It's a burgundy color. It's classic. It is a good size. I would say size seven is excellent. Juan, nice pickup. Okay, and Les has a, a few uh, short questions. Okay. Do you auction buy it now offers? What platform are you selling on? Only buy it now. I don't do auctions because on eBay, I'm trying to get all the money. So this is a Disney Mickey stand size small hoodie. And this, is, this looks a little bit like a hoodie dress. It's longer, women's size small. So it's got the kangaroo pocket, um, a longer Mickey, Disney. So what, you try to, what I'm trying to do here is show you guys the mix of items that I go for. The reason why I don't do auctions on eBay is because they end for 86% of the dollar amount. And if I'm going to do that much work, I want a little bit more cash. And auctions are different. With auctions, you want it to be fast, fast. That's why I like whatnot because the auctions are fast versus on eBay at the wait. The fastest auction I think is one day, three day, or um, seven day, or I actually recommend doing 10 day auctions if we're gonna go that route. Nice pickup. More question? That's it for now. Okay, next item guys. Polo Ralph Lauren, long sleeve. This is <clears throat> long sleeve polo, size extra large, which is a fantastic size, it's gray. Long sleeve polo, small pony. So make sure, you know, when you're describing items like this to do the best you can with all angles, show the sleeves, show the measurements. So I would say this is probably 26 pit to pit and 29 length. That would be my guess from looking at it. Make sure you take a close up. This is just a regular polo, nothing special, no black label or RLX or any of that. Um, but again, you want to pick the best brand you can in the best condition that you can. Take the best pictures you can, most item specifics you can. That's going to help you get the premium, premium money for it. And again, items are not going to sell for as much as on eBay because we only have a few seconds. So we kind of have a vintage polo here. Um, polo Ralph Lauren. It is a old school jacket. Windbreaker with the center pocket. There's the logo. Yep. I wouldn't. I would price that penguin shirt at thirteen ninety nine plus shipping, and wait. I would not. I would never do auction because penguin does not have the demand. I, w I would maybe auction like Gucci or Louis Vuitton, something that people really search for. Penguin does not have enough volume. Penguin does not have enough volume. This size is large. All right, nice pick, or Spen or nice pick, Spencer. So next is going to be, and again, I'm going to pick mostly outerwear because it's going to be easier to get that, that dollar amount. So here's a polo tag, polo size small. This is a quarter zip. Oh, this size is size small. Size small, blue quarter zip, small pony. Um, ideally, you would want to use one sentence to really describe the item. So this has no major flaws, no major stains, no tears, no snags. That's something that you could mention, but make sure if you're going to say that, that it doesn't actually have those issues with it. So I'm going to pick up basically mall brand clothing. That's my main business. When I was selling $700,000 a year of clothing on eBay, this is the main stuff that I was selling. So hopefully you guys can hear me on the chat because it says I have a poor connection. So hopefully you guys can see it and share. And the, the goal of today is going to be to... Um, educate you guys on how to make two thousand dollars per week. Question? And Taylor Hansen says, "What size following do you need on social media to start having a successful whatnot? To start having successful whatnot auction." So I'll show you guys the difference. So here we have a North Face jacket. Okay, 
It is a soft shell snowboarding jacket. It's just the outside, it's men's large. You do not need a social media following to be successful on whatnot. You just need quality items. So I'll give you an example. As people bid in the chat, and this goes up in, um, in value, you can show people the, um, the, um, the tag so they can make sure it's authentic. Because it's really difficult. The North Face logo is actually pretty difficult to copy. So um, if you start list, if I did North Face jackets at a dollar over and over and over again, what not will drive people to your auction because there's a lot of action, a lot of bidding, a lot of interest. People are staying in your stream. You don't need a big following to crush it on whatnot. You just need quality items. It's exactly the same as eBay. You don't need a big following. Next is going to be this Looney Tunes hoodie. This does not look... I don't know. Is this tag vintage? I don't think so. This looks modern to me. Looney Tunes extra large. Women's extra large hoodie. I would say that it's a modern tag. It's got the full crew on it. Speedy Gonzalez, Tweety, Marvin the Martian. Very cool, size large hoodie. So um, for this, you, you, the best you can do is basically condition, title, keywords, fit as many characters as you can. If you wanna take the time and figure out which characters are more popular, that would be the one that you wanna list first. No, I don't. I prefer eBay because it's easier. There's no creativity required. Here's an example of an item that um, would sell better on eBay. Eddie Bauer shorts, size 34. These are hiking shorts. So very nice, but here in the stream, it's hard to find enough people to sell this for what I'd like to sell for on eBay, which is like $12.99 plus shipping. This could easily sell on whatnot for $4 because there's not enough people looking for this. People in, that are on whatnot want the best brands, they want the hype, they want a huge logo. This is just a plain pair of hiking pants. So very useful, very durable. Um, something that you would be able to sell for 12 or 13 bucks on eBay, in my opinion, versus on whatnot. It's probably not gonna sell for as much because maybe people are looking for something a little bit more hype. And I do have some incredible items today that will sell for a lot more. And you guys can see how I balance stuff that sells for seven and stuff that sells for a hundred. I don't know if I have anything that will sell for 100 today, but we'll try. Okay, here's a really, really good brand. Beta brand, size extra small. This brand competes with Lululemon and Athleta. This one is actually brand new. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's brand new and I know because the button protectors are still on it. So fancy brands like this do something to try to set themselves apart. So when you buy this stuff new from the store, it's gonna have coverings like this. It's gonna be wrapped in plastic. This I would ask, $80, $90 on eBay. But again, right now on whatnot, since people don't, maybe they don't recognize Beta Brand, they might not bid it up. But Beta Brand is very expensive. This is the yoga material, but for dress slacks. Very, very, very expensive. So this is something that might sell for $10 on whatnot if you don't know what it is. Can't describe the material being super stretchy. And the clientele for this is generally a working class lady. I would say definitely. 25 and older working in the office or work from home. This is going to be like their main thing. It's like a more comfortable Lululemon. Rogers resellers. Rogers resellers. So like as an example, that that's sold for like less than wholesale. I do have some sports jerseys today. I guess we could try it. Next question or Go ahead. Next question. I recommend that you go once or twice a week and get 210 items. This goal right now is based on doing $2,000 profit. So my cost on this stuff was $800. I'm trying to stream $3,300 today in order to net $2,000. That would net me $2,800 before fees. I'm sorry, after fees. After fees and shipping, I would get $2,800 and I paid $800. So that would be the difference. This is an Alex Smith jersey. I'm going to show you guys the logo. NFL on field. Very, very, very nice. I think I do have Major League Baseball and Soccer today. So this type of stuff is gonna sell for a lot more. This is also a Nike jersey, Nike. So when you're photographing jerseys, when you're selling any sports stuff, any licensed stuff, take as many close-ups as you can of every single detail, every single color, every single stitch to let people know so they can take a look at the stitching and see if it's legit or not. 
you want to make sure the best that you can do. That way you can get the most money for the for each item. So sports stuff's gonna sell well. As you guys know, my colleague Tekken Sports, his name, Tech and Sports, used to be electronics and sports stuff, is what he used to focus on. Um, but make no mistake, he sold a lot of stuff. He sold electronics, he sold stuff with the, everything from the fleet, electronics, um, toys baseball cards every single category he has experience in he just sells clothing because it's the easiest to access so i'm going to show you guys hopefully at the end of today's stream we will be at um $3,300 which is the goal and i'll show you guys essentially what you would do over the course of an entire week i'm going to try to do today in three hours because i have an appointment at four o'clock so we got to finish this quick oh wait it's still going still going sorry so alex smith fun fact i went to college with alex smith university of utah um, I never met him, never saw him, but when I was going to University of Utah, Urban Meyer was our coach, so we, we crushed it. Um, I also um, went to school with Andrew Bogut. So Andrew Bogut, basketball player, he was the only person allowed to eat in class, seven foot two, a very big dude. He, had, he always had this like nutritionist with him, <laughs> like wow. trying to make, because he's like, you know, v very important to the team. So there was like people there making sure that he was healthy. Um, okay. So here's a brand that I pick up that sells really well for me, but doesn't sell for a lot. Pink. So Victoria's Secret. I always show the logo. What kind of dog is this? Is it a terrier? Yeah, I think it could be a golden retriever. What, what, what dog is the Victoria's Secret doggy? Um, oh, you mean specific. Yeah. Uh, this is size medium. So women's medium. This is a quarter zip. Um, this stuff sells really fast for me. It may not sell for a lot of money, but it's something that I think that people really like. It, it is brand conscious. Victoria's Secret is a good brand. So Victoria's Secret Pink, the, the, for me, the pink stuff that sells better says pink. Like again, people need to know what it is and they need to represent what they're selling. Next question? Yep. Okay. How have you done reselling fast fashion brands that H&M, it sells well. I'll go over fast fashion in just a moment because there will be some. So this is a really badass Abercrombie jacket. So this is back in the day when Abercrombie was huge in the mall. This, is, this appears to me to be vintage because it's um, an older tag. This is the Abercrombie when I was in high school. I thought it was really cool. And they pumped the, the scent out into the mall. I don't know still do that. But when this first came out, I couldn't afford anything in the store. It literally blew my mind how expensive everything was. This is a size large, and this Abercrombie jacket is sick. I don't know if you guys remember, the old cargo pants, they used to have these little tags on them, and I just remember this being, being, it being old. And yes, it is still how it is where they pump it out. I just remember they were one of the first people to do that. And I used to walk in that store, and like, I don't know, it was, it was wild how, how different that was. So fast fashion sells well for me, but for less money. So you have to be careful. Selling fast fashion, you got to sell quick. All right, guys. Madewell jeans. I have a lot of Madewell today. It's how I built my small store in 74 days. This is the curvy high-rise skinny. It's size 26P. P stands for petite. 26 is a great size. It's like size 2. Um, so if you're going to sell jeans and women's, you got to make sure you understand the inseam, the waist, the rise. The cuff size, these are all important. You need to recognize all the different terms, ankle, skinny, cigarette. This is specifically the curvy high rise, the curvy high rise skinny. So high rise, very desirable. This pair of jeans on eBay, I would ask $26 on whatnot. Sometimes I struggle to get 10. That's really the difference between selling stuff right now versus waiting for all the money. Size 26P. So 26P made well jeans. I struggle to get the full retail amount on whatnot, but you guys will see this today. I'm gonna see like, look, Madewell jeans for $10. That's less than Goodwill. Goodwill, where I'm at, usually sells for 12. Do I have any bigger sizes? I do. Uh, speaking of bigger size Madewell, let's go. So Madewell, size 36 by 32. That's, I don't know if this is, I don't think Madewell makes men's, but this is like a men's size. 36 is huge. This is the light wash and I don't know, guys. I didn't. I wasn't under. I didn't know that Madewell made men's jeans. That's 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 insane. Probably sell for a lot better. Thirty six, thirty two. You can tell by the button. Ooh, thank you. Thank you. Also, you can tell by the pockets. Men's jeans typically have real pockets that you can stick your whole hand in. Women's jeans, it's kind of like really short and shallow. 
Adriana, nice pickup. <clears throat> okay, so Stacy, what's up? Okay. This stuff is all 100% from the Goodwill bins. North Face, fleece, two-tone. This is not the Denali jacket, but this is like a quarter zip fleece. Um, extra large this is a great size. Guys, is there an easy way to tell? I think this is men's, but is there an easy way to tell North Face if it's men's or, oh, I'm sorry. It says right on it, it's boys. So it usually says on it what it is. So this is a boys jacket. I was gonna say it seems kind of small, um, but boys jacket size extra large. Brown Town, nice pickup. What profit margin do you aim for? It depends. So here we go. This is a San Jose Sharks hoodie. Very, very cool piece. San Jose Sharks hoodie. Um, I would say this, this might be vintage because look at the tag. This is the McGuire. Oh, nice pickup. Wait, is it, did we start it or not yet? Brown Town finds, I think that was the North Face, right? Mm -hmm. Let me just check. It didn't start, okay. So what profit margin? This is a San Jose Sharks hoodie. Um, anything sports sells really well for me, hockey, baseball, so it depends on what it is. I'm typically looking to 2X my money. So if I spend four, I wanna make eight. <clears throat> Doubling your money is okay, typically. The problem is when you're dealing with such a small dollar amount, I tried to average on eBay around $8 profit. That was my goal, so. Um, I paid $4 for these because I actually don't go to the bins myself. I hire other people to go for me. So it's a bit different. I pay up for my items. But if you were to go to the bins yourself, this whole lot would not cost around $800. I think the cost would be around $350. So you would save a little bit more just doing it that way. Miggy. Mama's time. Nice pickup. Miggy, so sorry to skip your question. Um, it was just very vague. So the question was, what about dead stock shoes? What, what about them? Okay. Dead stock shoes are awesome and they sell for a lot of money, but they also cost a lot of money, so I would prefer not. This Slipknot hoodie is insane. So it's a size large men's. So okay, this is something really, I think it's pretty special. So something like this, I probably would look up the exact one it is. I'll show you guys the tag and we'll start this one at a dollar. But this is something that is really cool. Men's size large. The print on this is really dope. So it's got the gilt on the front, right? Also a little slip knot in the back. This is a really, really, really cool hoodie. And I'll show you guys the tag. It's a size large, but it's a printed tag, so I don't think this is vintage. There's the tag. It's pretty, it's, it's worn. The tag is worn, but the actual hoodie is really nice. I feel like that's a steal for this hoodie. 17 bucks, that's a nice pickup. At one point I had both and it felt like printing money. Now that I have um, only one, it's a bit different. Okay, thank you, that was a collaboration with Brooklyn Projects. This is an L.L. Bean jacket, men's size medium. Here's the tag. It's a heavier, warm jacket. So this is something also that would sell a lot better on eBay than it would sell on whatnot. Um, really nice canvas, really warm, really thick, and I just feel like whatnot's audience is too young to really care about something like this. Um, so you're going to get a lot less money. So today, when you guys see the prices, they're going to be almost every single item is going to be less than eBay. So if I could choose one or the other, probably eBay because it's not as complicated. Earlier, you should have seen Christy going over the game that we have to run on whatnot to make it interesting. It's very complicated. You got to have bonuses. You got to have a themed show. You got to have a good host, good energy. It's not that easy. Okay, guys, I need help on this one. This one I don't know. So this one is <clears throat> the brand Figs. I don't know if Figs is good. So sometimes if the item is cheap enough, I'll take, I'll take a hit and see if that's nice. Figs, this is, uh, I don't know what size this is, so that's gonna really harm me on this, this auction. So I don't know. So Figs might be a good, I think it's a good brand. It feels nice, so nice scrub pants. I actually don't know the size, I would guess large. So Lexi, nice pickup. Figs is $50 retail, thank you. Good to learn. So how you build your Rolodex of what you sell starts slow and you slowly build up. True Religion is next, True Religion jeans, size 26. I'll show you guys the embellish. So the more crazy the pockets, usually the more 
True Religion sells for. Size 26 is like a size 2. I think you should know the conversion. Um, this, this one isn't too wild, but I feel like this is still going to sell well, and it's a great size. True Religion jeans. Whatnot is built is much better than eBay. Oh, much harder. I agree. I think Whatnot is much harder than eBay or Poshmark. It's a little bit more advanced. Like True Religion jeans, no way you would get $6 on eBay for these. Maybe quadruple the price. No, not in my opinion. Some, I mean, obviously there are some stuff like, this is a, a boy's North Face jacket, so it's an older child, but you'll, you'll watch. Watch the price of this North Face uh, fleece jacket. It's, it's going for a dollar right now. The pricing just doesn't get you the same as men and women's. Since it takes you the same amount of time to list a men's or a women's, I would try to pick up the men's, because this North Face is like not gonna make very much money and it's, it's nice. Now, for me, the best kids selling items are like Patagonia. That sells all right. But North Face, not as strong, even though I would consider this a nice fleece. Well, Somebody would enjoy this. I What's up? Say, April says, you have great stuff. Thank you. Thank, yeah, Victor, we do have great Victor stuff. Victor makes it fun. He yeah, Victor it. is great. Brown Town, nice pickup. Next question. Go for it. No. Lululemon size 8. Um, really nice leggings. These are lime green. The reason why I, I think it, it's because it takes too long to make them. Um, One-off items are cool, but very, very difficult to scale. You can charge a lot more and you can build a healthy business, but it's difficult to scale. It takes too long to get it. Size 8, Lululemon leggings, zip pocket on both sides. Easy way to tell women's and men's is just the color of the tag. This is um, white versus black. Also, in the pockets, oftentimes Lululemon has uh, a size in the pocket as well, or in the in the in the cuffer seams. So one-off items are very difficult to scale. You want something that has no cost of replication. Okay, which I'll go over in just a moment. Beta brand size large. Then we'll go over the question. Thank you. Beta brand size large. This is from a sample sale, so the beta brand's been crossed out. Uh, but this I would still ask sixty dollars for on eBay. It's a great boot cut. High rise, it's got the button, fantastic color. So Beta Brand sells really well, really easy to sell. In my area where I live, I find this a lot. A lot of women in my area wear Beta Brand. Beta Brand size large, fantastic. If you're buying for yourself, you're never gonna find a pair of pants more comfortable than this. They're all stretchy and they look formal. Um, back to the no cost of replication. YouTube doesn't cost me more money for more people to watch it. That's different than this. I have to sell more items to make more money. So you want to reduce the amount of time it takes to replicate an item. Next question. Max Wonderless says, <clears throat> do these toys sell well on Hell yeah. Okay, Beta Brand again. So Beta Brand, this is a knee without tags. Beta Brand, extra small. Really cute pattern. This is like the brown geometric color. Extra small is not the most desirable brand, but this is new without tags. And one of the Goodwills that I shop at um, is where Beta Brand donates their samples. This is, this is not a sample, but um, this is new without tags, I can tell, because it hasn't been worn. You can, you can look at the, the waistband and see if it's been worn before. This is still crispy. So first person that wears this is going to get that full, full feeling. And again, Beta Brand, really good brand, but... People on whatnot aren't going to know what brand it is, so it's going to sell for literally one third of what it sells for on eBay. And then I have a comment that I'd like to respond to. Go for it. Just for the sake of spelling. Suzette Vaughn, I am, this is Christy. My name is actually spelled K R Y S T I E, and I am honored to be of service to you. Thank also, guys, Christy is not Christine. So, <laughs> Christine is already left for the day, and as you guys know, I like to hire people that have my name in their name because I'm, uh, it's all because I'm full of myself? No, not full of myself. Into myself? What's the right term? Feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. So when I hire people, I want them to have the same name as me. Egotistical? There we go. Perfect. Uh, okay. Suzette says, I know, I know. <laughs> okay, here we go. North Face, women's size medium. In the olive drab colorway, hiking. 
pants. So this is something that somebody would love to buy on eBay for I would say 14 bucks plus shipping. But on whatnot, I might sell for a dollar. It's at literally one dollar right now. So it's difficult. On whatnot, you have to have a lot of energy. You have to make sure that your voice can handle streaming for a long time. Um, I already did a Zoom call this morning. I already did a YouTube Live this morning. And I'm on here again. This is going to take hopefully less than three hours to stream all these items. But you got to have a lot of energy. I would say whatnot, much more difficult than eBay or Poshmark. Sounds easy, but I don't think so. Kim Watson stole this pair of... So I def to give you an idea of how profit margin works, I lose money. Because on $4, this sold for $4 on, on whatnot, I paid $4. So I still need to pay with my time to ship this item. And also, I have to pay the 15, the roughly 11% fees on whatnot. But if your transactions are small, it's more like 15%. So you have to really understand your margins. So I'm going to mix it up, sell some different stuff. Um, okay, this is pretty wild. I think this is something that, okay, is there people in the chat? Everybody give me an emoji. Because we're going to sell a real vintage item right now. You guys ready? This is a pretty insane 1993 Warner Brothers tee. Throw me an emoji. This is a wild piece. You guys ready? So you don't find a lot of, or at least me, I don't find a ton of vintage um, where I'm at. But this is the Anvil, the Anvil Red Bar, which I know is 90. So you got to know your tag. This is a sick piece. So let's do it. You guys ready? Okay. This is a men's size large, made in USA. Single stitch, single dingle, Looney Tunes tee. It's got the back hit. This is a crazy piece. Okay, so this is something in a vintage store you try to ask $100 for because it's wild. You got Taz, you got Coyote, you got Bugs. It's a wild shirt, in fantastic condition, no stains. Pretty hard to find that. Also, the date tag right here says 1993 Warner Brothers. That's wild. So Spencer Oliver, nice pickup. So on another vintage only stream, they would have asked $125 for this, easy. Um, just because it's so dope and so hard to find stuff like this. Maybe you need to ask, do Sam Bell stockings sell well? Maybe. No. I don't know what that is. Probably sells well. Patagonia, let's go. As College Picker would say, Patagucci. This is a better sweater. It is size large. Wait, how can you tell if it's men's or women's? I would say men's. Men's size large better sweater. Does have some company embroidery on the side. Patagucci. And I can't tell what the logo says on the side. Kim Watson, nice pickup. Kim Watson Patagonia for 23 bucks. Nice pickup. Question? Don't be told. I see that you asked the same question twice. I'm not sure if you got it, but it was that question about upcycled bleach teeth. Upcycle bleach tees don't do wooden scale because you got to make them. This Nike tee is super dope, size large. I don't think black tag is vintage. I think it's early 2000s. So you guys check this out. Nice Nike graphic in the front. This is called Spell Out. Really nice Nike hoodie. It also has the Just Do It in the background. So Just Do It Nike built in. Really nice piece. This is something I feel like always sells decent on whatnot. So Usually you can get 15 bucks, 12 bucks for something like this on eBay, maybe around the same, but it'll take a little bit longer. So you may also want to pick items for their prospective platform, respective platform. Kim Watson, nice pickup. $8 for that hoodie is a screaming deal. Okay, here we go. She can. She's, Christy's sitting, standing right in front of me. Um, also, can you put the number 33 on this so that I, I just don't want to make, I want to make sure these are not, um, uh, like we don't get one off and I'll ship the wrong item. So can we just put 1333 on this one? Or 1334? Not 1333? Oh, oh, you're doing it. Oh, you're doing mm -hmm. it. Okay. Right. So what number is that? So, um, which one? This one? Yeah. This one is 1333. You wanted me to number them, right? Yeah. It started at 1300. Okay. And someone said, okay, Susan. Because we're one behind. Oh. This, this should be 1335. Okay. I can fix it. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. So here's an item of an item. Uh, 
I guess it, it is what it is. Some people say that 20 years is vintage. Some people say 25 years. Some people say true vintage is 50 years. So it depends. This is a piece that I picked. It's Goodfellow, which is Target, size extra large. The reason why I picked this shirt is it's still cool to me. It's got a cool pattern. It's a tropical pattern, Hawaiian shirt. It's got a toucan on it. Great pattern, great size, size extra large. It's still going to sell. They're all well, I guess not. Nobody even wanted this for a dollar. Okay. Okay, so we'll just go with this one. So, good fellow, you want to also describe the um, the material and the make on the items if you can. So, this is something that I would pick up even though it's not the best brand because it's a cool shirt. People will like it. I like to pick up cool. So, we're not missing any? Mm -mm. All right, let's just keep going. They do, and they, they, they do they do know. Um, all right, so let's mix it up. There's a lot of outerwear today. Um, let's keep going. Let's go North Face. North Face, women's fuzzy hoodie. This is a great piece. Women's size medium, fuzzy fleece. Really nice, there's the tag. So you can see this one's going to sell for a lot more than the kids' version. It's really nice. So really sweet pieces, all high-end thrift today. And I'm just doing this to show you guys um, really, if you want to make $2,000 a week, which is um, six figures, you would list around 30 items a day. I just started a Twitter. Everybody follow me at Daily Refinement on Twitter. So I'm going to post like the best one-liner thoughts I can for you guys there. Um, and one of my one-liners is uh, $2,000 is 200 items times $10 profit a week. So today we're going to run 200 items, try to average $10 profit. Just Rex, thank you. Also, I recommend if you're on whatnot to shout out the person that you win an item from. So um, just for fun, I'm going to show you guys the difference on running a new item. So we'll go ahead and throw this in because you will find this um, thrifting. You're going to find brand new items. So this is a brand new with tags, Lululemon Air Support Bra. MSRP is $98. Brand new Lululemon. 36 Triple D is a good size in my opinion. Based on my experience selling Lulu, this air support bra should do really well. $98. The comps on eBay are excellent. So brand new Lululemon bra. So remember, when you are thrifting and you find the good stuff, um, it might be worth it to pay. Like some people would say, oh, I would never pay $20 for this if Goodwill asked it. I would. I paid thirty dollars for this at Goodwill, to be honest, because it's still profitable. And Lululemon brings the boys to the yard. Okay, so you want to have good stuff if you can. You see me somewhere? I'm on YouTube at Daily Refinement. So forty-three bucks. What's up, Bill? Um, you want to engage with the comments as best you can. So thirty-six triple D. This would be a fantastic gift for someone or a small margin resale. Um, you get, we did okay on that one. Um, still profitable. Let's see, all right. Let's go, what do you guys want? You want sports, you want um, outerwear? Let's go outerwear. All right, spider. Men's medium jacket. This, this is actually really cool, it's a corduroy. Can you guys see that? A corduroy spider jacket. Spider, very expensive brand. All the stuff I'm selling today is 100% authentic. We don't sell fakes. So it's got the Black Widow. Really, really, really nice piece. Got the, the, the cell phone pocket right here with the logo. Corduroy jacket. Fleece inside. So polyester fleece interior. Corduroy exterior. I believe it's men's. Men's medium. Looks like a men's medium jacket. How much would I eBay this for? Probably $39.99 plus shipping. Adriana, nice pickup. Okay, let's go next. So, another thing that sells well for me is all NCAA stuff. Cal Poly Mustangs, Nike hoodie. So, all um, college stuff sells well for me. And it all sells. UCLA, UC Santa Barbara, UC Berkeley, Stanford. So, usually people are trying to steal this. Spencer's trying to steal this for a dollar. Thermofit. That's another thing that happens on whatnot. Sometimes items sell for one dollar. 
That doesn't happen on eBay because you can set your threshold for best offer. So items like this, people will steal on whatnot all the time for four, six, eight, ten dollars Get it all steal. Bad Boy Nikki asks, are you guys interested in Kobe Bryant dead statue? No, I'm good. Mm -hmm. We have plenty of stuff. Um, Leap and Lizard. So another reason why I said no so quickly is I'm looking for people who have a lot of supply, like thousands and thousands of items, and I only want a few relationships. Uh, I don't want a lot. Champion, reverse weave, size small, spell out. This is really cute. It's kind of a cropped pattern um, for women. I like the colors. It's like a nice, I don't know, it'd be a nice workout coverall, in my opinion. Reverse weave, size small, made in Honduras, not vintage, but really nice piece. I'm starting every single item at a dollar because we got to go speed. Volume is important. Um, on whatnot, you don't make a lot of money um, per item, so you got to do volume. So, J. Crew Utility Women's Jacket Size Medium. This is also medium tall, so a longer jacket. J. Crew Utility Jacket. This is fantastic. Really, really nice women's jacket. Nice, thick nylon utility, scratch resistant. I like these types of jackets. And the J. Crew logos that are like this are a bit more premium. Banana Republic does this as well. But this is at all. Everyone right now listening can find a J. Crew jacket. It's not fancy. You will be able to find it. What number is this? 40? This yeah. 1340. Okay. All right, guys. I actually don't know my Disney. Grumpy, I'm assuming. He's a dwarf. Um, this is on the Disney Resort tag. This is extra large, men's extra large full zip hoodie with Grumpy on it. I'm assuming he's a dwarf. He doesn't look like he's in that bad of a mood, to be honest. Uh, maybe you wear this though if you don't want people to approach you. Nice piece, I like it. Men's extra large, Disney. Disney Resort tag, right here. This is a really nice hoodie, nice pickup. So even though this is not as good of a brand as Beta Brand in my opinion, still sold for $27. So you never know, I would probably ask $24.99 on eBay for that. Uh, okay, here's a simple one that um, I would still pick up. It's a Vans hoodie. So Vans striped hoodie, nothing fancy. This is something that everyone could find. Size extra large, men, so good size. So I like to sell stuff like this to get velocity going in my store. So I would probably, you know, to be honest, I'd probably list, list this in my eBay store for $12.99 plus shipping or $9.99 plus shipping and um, get it moving quick, get something in and out. Vans is a good skater brand. Extra large is a good size, good color, easy to match, um, quick and easy. So not everything you got to make a home run on. I'm going to list 200 items today and I'm going to sell 200 items today. We're, we're not going for anything for a crazy profit. Just keeping it real straightforward and simple. And $12.99, it wouldn't, it, it's possible to sell this for $10.99 all day. Patagonia on deck. Patagonia fuzzy fleece. This is uh, girls, medium, size 10. Really nice. There's the tag. Patagucci. Men, so the ten or medium ten is the number for this is like a girl's, a girl's um, furry teddy bear jacket, and this is what I'm talking about. This sells way better than North Face. I don't know what you guys think, but for me personally, this is this is worth it. So somebody asked earlier if kids stuff is worth it. The Patagonia is worth it in the kids. So make sure you hit the kids section in the thrift store, and grab it up. Ross Alas, thank you. Pat's Gucci, that's right. Um, question? No question. Okay. Uh, this was already answered, but I, I just popped in. Where are you selling these items? We're selling these items on, on whatnot. So on if you're on YouTube right now, you can use my code to get $10 off your first purchase. I also put a link to the stream if you want to come check us out. 
Okay, another brand that I like to sell. Obey. Obey, this has got the Bulldog on the back. We've got the Obey Worldwide Malt Liquor, 40 ounce. Did you guys play Edward 40 Hands in college where you strap a 40 to each hand and finish both before you uh, get to pee? Or was I, I was just a dumbass in college. Obey, this is a great jacket, size medium. It's like a puffer, size medium men's, light puffer jacket. So awesome, awesome brand with the Bulldog on the front and the back. This is something I would ask $22.99 on eBay for. Um, I'm going to expect on whatnot for this to sell for $17. So a little bit less. It's going to sell a little faster. Um, I think this will get $17 now on whatnot. Depends on, you know. I guess I could try and guess what every single thing sells for on eBay and whatnot to give you guys an idea. But also, I can influence the price by doing that. That's one tip for a host. Nice, Bill. Okay, next. This is Orvis, fuzzy fleece, size large. Orvis, with the Orvis, side hit. Orvis, size large, really nice quarter zip, very warm, very comfortable. This is stuff I find at the flea market all the time from the Costco returns. I don't think this is Costco, but Costco sells a lot of Orvis and it's pretty cheap at the flea. I think the Costco pallets, does anybody in here sell Costco pallets? I think Costco pallets are 80% off. So if this jacket was $40 at Costco, you would get it for like eight to resell. Um, this is pre-owned, so we'll sell for less than eight. Motivende, nice pickup. Next is Carhartt, size large, men's button down. I rarely find Carhartt where I live. This is a sweet shirt going for $1 right now. Green button down, pocket tee. Long sleeve, here's the tag, Carhartt, size large. Very, very hard to find here. I don't find Carhartt. Um, it's a really nice color. This is a shirt that I could see myself wearing. It's really nice. Personally though, my, my, my personal style, I actually prefer streetwear. I don't, I don't really wear streetwear that often, but I like stuff like this. Keith Haring, um, I like graphic t-shirts. That's sort of my style, but I don't really, I don't really care these days, um, but personally. Carhartt, size large, fantastic, Midwestern favorite. Okay, let's go next. UMass, this is a dope, dope jacket. So it's a starter, size small, going for $1. Starter, size small, not sure if this is vintage or not. We'll look at the tags, but really, really nice piece. UMass on the front. This looks vintage to me. What do you guys think? It says made in Korea though. Do I know anything about punk band tees? I know a little bit. So got the starter detail on the collar. This is a really nice jacket. So hopefully we have some UMass fans because this is a really nice starter jacket. And I would probably ask $50 for this on eBay. So I do have a following. So some of the items in the show will go for Closer to retail. If you don't have a following, it's not like you can't sell items though. It depends on what it is. If you had a bunch of starter jackets, Nike, Patagonia, North Face, still gonna sell. Just depends on what you have. Having a following does help you sell more questionable items like Banana Republic. Notice how we don't have any Banana Republic today because it's sort of a lower end brand and more difficult to get your money out. So goal today, guys, $3,300 in a stream. We're averaging around five to 6,000 per day on whatnot. So to give you guys an idea of how the business works. Korea is vintage. Thank you, Designer Treasure Hunt. So true vintage UMass starter jacket. Appreciate you. Knowing your tags would really help a lot. We're gonna do a mix today. I believe this is the top selling brand on eBay UK, super dry. Super dry jacket, very expensive, very cool. I love the contrast on the colors. So this is a, a Super dry professional wind, wind cheater, size medium, men's. So this is a heavy jacket, like a heavy snowboarding jacket. Um, it's got two layers um, and it has this furry, this like this internal collar for warmth. This is a really nice jacket. 
fleece interior, contrasting color. Um, and I think top brand to sell in the UK. A uh, good brand on Poshmark, people are saying as well. So fantastic jacket. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, appreciate you being in my stream. I personally don't care who else is streaming. Okay, like other people say you have to watch out for other streamers, but I think you do the best you can at what time you can. You can't always be timing other people. I really don't care who else is streaming because there's not enough, like you can only worry about you. Some, Kim Kardashian could be streaming right now and I might lose 80% of my audience, but this is the only time I have today to stream, so gotta do your best. Just Rex, nice pickup. One thing to keep it interesting on whatnot is you wanna keep the auctions going in my opinion. This is an Eddie Bauer puffer vest, women's size large, really cute. Um, I like Eddie Bauer, I like this contrasting color. Eddie Bauer is something that I find sells pretty well. I would ask 12 to $18 on shipping. Uh, Future Fusion says I have my own audience. That's true. There are a lot of people here only for me. There are people here, are there people here to learn something and they're not gonna buy anything? What do you guys think? I think there are people in the stream right now who have no intention of buying anything. They're just here to learn something. Right? I think this is a great silhouette. Show the front and the back when you're reselling. See, brand just said they're here and they're not here to buy anything. So that's part of it. So audience is different than people who are here to buy something. It's different. See, brand says sometimes they end up buying. I feel you, I feel you. How are we doing on time guys? Everyone okay? Adidas spell out hoodie. Men's size extra large. I like the three stripe that goes down on the side. I was listening to Steve Madden and Steve Madden was saying like every single pair of shoes that he had three stripes on, Adidas sued him. <laughs> Cause they, they, they don't like that. So they tried everything, four stripes, two stripe, one stripe, five stripes, 10 stripes, three stripes, Adidas came after them. So people are very, very protective of their trademark. I haven't really seen any issues with, with, with Adidas. Um, they seem to have been doing all right. Um, yes, sir. Spencer Oliver, nice pickup. So I actually like to start the auction while I get the next item. It keeps the stream going. <clears throat> Marmot, fantastic reseller brand. This is the 800 fill down jacket. Really nice. Um, I personally have not taken lean training, but I have worked for Toyota. So Toyota is known for Kaizen, which is continuous improvement. Um, I originally thought this Marmot jacket was Motorola. It is a size large men's jacket. Size large men's Marmot jacket. Um, I thought this was Motorola, to be honest, when I first saw this. Um, I haven't taken any specific lean training, but I'm a fan. I'm a big fan of Kaizen, continuous improvement. Um, Lean, for those of you that don't know. Uh, okay, this is cute. We're going Adidas next. Adidas, US size small, women's crop hoodie. Very cute, salmon color, full Adidas on the front. This is the perfect picture to take an Instagram photo in, to be honest. Laying on your couch. Yeah. Hashtag adulting. This is a really nice hoodie. I like it. The salmon color, very cute, very cute. Well, what's up, Wax? Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate the super chats. I just enabled. Um, oh, it's still going. Sorry. Um, I appreciate the. There's a new feature on YouTube called Super Thanks, which is fantastic. Great finds for you. Appreciate you. Okay, let's go next. What do we want to put to you? Okay, let's go men's jeans. Levi's 511. One of the best men's jeans to sell. I think the best men's number to sell, in my opinion, let me know in the chat if you agree or not. Levi's 560, kills it for me. But this is 511, size 31, 34. Appreciate you guys following me on YouTube. This is a skinny fit. This is like a dark charcoal, almost black color. Remember when you're taking photos, try to be at least four feet from the camera so you can get really nice, accurate color. Field 40 with the steel, $3 less than I paid for men's jeans that sell for $13.99 at my Goodwill. Nice pickup. 
Next item, Michigan, go blue, Michigan. Coliseum tag, size large, men's hoodie. It's going for $1 right now. I think Whatnot might be broken. Another problem with Whatnot is that they're so new, they're glitchy, and sometimes items sell for $3. The 5.11 jeans for $3 is really an embarrassment. It's literally less than I paid for one of the top selling win uh, Levi's. If you're just new, I would go 3 series, 5 series, 7 series, 560s kill it. Vintage 550s sell best for twice loved collection. Thank you for that tip. So hopefully this is useful guys. Are you guys learning a lot about different brands that sell, sell well? You can watch the auction on whatnot. It'll give you an idea of what the price items at. I personally like $1 to start every single auction because I want action. I want action. Next piece, really fantastic brand, Rain Spooner. Rain Spooner, Hawaiian shirt, size extra large. I like the ones with the crazier patterns. I remember a long time ago I watched Nicole State. She wanted the Rain Spooner Disney collection. Um, I'm sure that does very well, but I have never actually found that. So here's the Rain Spooner classic Hawaiian shirt. Looks really nice. I like the pattern. Extra large is a great size. Tailored in Hawaii of imported fabric. Great shirt. So Rain Spooner, I do find Rain Spooner at least once a week. It's a popular, popular shirt. They also sell MLB shirts, nice. So Field 40 is saying they have the license to Major League Baseball as well. 11 bucks is a steal, this shirt's really nice. Because people are looking for shirts for themselves. Great finds, nice pickup. I wait for the payment to go through and I go on to the next one. Next item, this is a Madewell oversized sweatshirt, size medium, there's the tag. Madewell oversized camel hair colorway, really cute, oversized sweater, fantastic. I personally think this is a really cute, really cute oversized sweater. Most people can find made well. This is probably $200 at the store. Do I have mother jeans? Hell yeah. You want mother jeans? We, have, we definitely have mother jeans. I find mother jeans all the time. So depending on where you live, let's see. You want mother? I'll try to get some for you. Have I had a lot of cancellation requests? No, I don't have that many cancellation requests. And it's up to the seller to request them. Um, Let's see, nice pickup, just Rex, thank you. What number is this one? This, this one? Yeah. This one, this one was 13.56. Thank you. And on the April app, do you recommend watching all your sites? Yes, I do. Okay, another brand, we will do Mother, let's do Spanx. Spanx does awesome, size large. Spanx jeans, fantastic, little frayed. Um, cuff right there. One of my favorite women to watch and follow is, uh, what's her name? Sarah Blakely, is that right? Sarah Blakely, is that right? For the lady who runs Spanx? Privately held billion dollar company, she owns it all by herself and has four kids. Let's go. Um, it's kind of interesting, right? Because I don't think she gets enough publicity. She's just very popular, obviously, but like, I, ho I want her to be more popular because that's like insane. Imagine you have a billion dollar company and a family. That's like, her life should be broadcasted for everyone to watch because how do you even do that? And her husband owns the Atlanta Hawks. That's like, that's like a power couple. Okay, I will find some mother jeans. All right, here we go. As promised, I think we have at least three pairs of mothers today. This is a pair of mother jeans. One of the top brands to sell. Let's see what model this is. This is the size 27 mother jeans. I would say size four. Mother is ridiculously expensive. Where do they sell mother? It's got some factory distressing, one here on the, the knee. Actually a little bit of different distressing. That's something I find on mother jeans is like different distressing on different sides. Also, this tag, Mother, you'll see on the corner. So a very unassuming brand, but it's very expensive and it sells really well for me. I find Mother jeans every single time I thrift. 
Do I have a commercial washer and dryers? How many? I actually use a service. So I use a service and the service will actually do a couple things for me. They can put everything on hangers for me if I decide to go that route or they can hang items for, or they can bag items for me in those trash bags. It really depends. Okay, let's do another pair of denim. We have a lot of denim today. Another brand that I really like. Oops. Oh no, is it broken? Wait, did I lose you guys? It broke. I think it broke. I don't know if I'm back or not, but what number was that one? Please. 1358. Okay. Hopefully it didn't break, guys. Start over. Okay, I'm back. Frame. This is the Le Crop Mini Boot. Size 27, so another size 4. Frame denim sells really well for me. It's very expensive. This is a dark blue wash. Very dark. Almost a black wash. Frame, you can also tell from the button. I know. It's off by one. Thank you, Daisy. It's off by one, so we'll just have to we'll just have to take note of that when we ship. I also recommend on whatnot you preload all your items, but I didn't have time because we already ran a show this morning, and we're trying to run a show later. So, what does frame sell for me on average? Twenty nine, twenty nine thirty in that range. Save, save with bales, or save with balls. Your numbering looks right here. Okay. Next, what do you guys want? Denim, outerwear, jackets, t-shirts. Let's do Patagonia. Okay, here we go. Patagonia, men's medium, slim fit. This is the, the mullet with the front and then the big Patagonia logo on the back. Um, this stuff sells very, very well on whatnot because it's the organic cotton, which is really soft. And like people don't, people don't have to ask you what brand you're wearing. You just tell them what brand you're wearing. Patagonia. I'm cool. Look at me. I have money. Patagonia. Anything that people, like they know what you're wearing without you telling them sells for way more. That's just, I don't know why that is. Okay, is this tag 90s for, for vintage? Let me know, fam. I'm not sure if it is or not. <clears throat> All right, vintage Nike hoodie. And by hoodie, I mean vest. Got the center Tra Travis Scott swoosh, but on the back. So right now, this vintage Nike vest is going for $1. What a steal. 90s tag, Nike, vintage. Let's go, vintage. So this is the Lance Colorway Cheater combo. Let's go. Yeah, these are strong colors. What do you guys think? Best cheater of all time? Best cheater of all time? Let's go, USA. Lance Armstrong, vintage colorway, black and yellow, hornet's nest. Let's go. Just Rex with the crazy steal, $10 for vintage Nike. Okay, maybe let's keep going with Patagonia. Apparently people like Patagonia. Am I a bail bondsman? <laughs> that's funny. No, but that's the, the alarm does sound like that. Patagonia fuzzy fleece, women's size small. So um, one thing that's interesting is that when you sell um, Patagonia, if you wash it, because when I got this jacket, it was kind of flat. When you wash it, the, the fabric will kind of stand up a little bit more, um, especially if you wash it with a wet towel. I don't know what that does, but it kind of fluffs up the fluff. Do I have five, five and a half shoes in the back? I might. I know, that's true. Is it even a daily refinement show without a train? I don't know. 
Next. I still need help with this. So this is Pink Victoria's Secret. It's a hoodie. Size women's medium. And this one does not have the dog on it, but it does have the pink spell out on the bottom. So I think this is cute. Somebody can wear it. I like to pick up stuff like this because it does sell. It's a good color. It's a basic. It's still going to sell. Some people leave these behind, but I like to get that traction in my store. And people are looking for something basic, and not everybody needs to tell people how rich they are. This is a little more subtle flex. Pink along the waist. Pink along the waist. A little bit of a sell, uh, uh, more subtle flux. You want soccer, large to extra large? I'll look for it. Desi! Appreciate you. Next. Let's go Levi's. Tummy tucking power. This is size four with the figure enhancer. Tummy slimming, leg lengthening, super soft, super stretch. Stretchy jean, going for one dollar. So um, I pick up new with Tang's Levi's if they're not the 3, 5, or 7 series, but they don't sell for a lot. You can see this is a brand new pair. It's at $4 right now. So size 4, which is a good size for women. It's not the best. I'd say the best is like size 12, um, but it doesn't kill it. Soul Locker in here spamming. If you guys want to leave my chat and go to his, go for it. Vintage Clubhouse, appreciate you stopping by. They actually sell vintage. I'm more of a modern guy. I already sold my heavy hitter vintage pieces earlier in the stream. So um, now we're just selling the basics. Modern, thrifted stuff. Thermofit, women's medium hoodie. Those of you that are streamers on, YouTube, on whatnot, let me know how many auctions you'd like to run. This is a women's sweater size medium. I personally, when I'm going by myself, I like to run 200 auctions minimum um, because and I'd like to make $10 a night if I'm going single, so personally, I would like to make $2,000 profit per stream myself. Um, it's not always going to be like that, but that's personally where I want to be if I'm going to run singles. So I am actually checking out different ways of doing whatnot, but personally, my, my favorite model, if I'm going to be doing it, 200 pieces, try to average $10 profit, 2000 bucks one stream. That's the goal. Um, most I've done on whatnot, somebody asked earlier, was 37000 in one day. Um, that ended up being 50% profit. That was a really, really high day. It was um, like, that's after that stream, my whole brain is kind of um, rewired differently because I had this dream that I wanted to do $10 million a year. And that, that actually ends up being 30,000 a day. Okay, so 30,000 a day, I've done it one time, but I haven't done it every day. Alaska Airlines fleet integration. I like Alaska Airlines. This is a cool little vest. I don't recommend that you impersonate airport personnel. That is illegal. Um, but sometimes items don't sell at all. So watch this, guys. This item just did not sell for $1. Let's try it again. Alaska Airlines vest. It's blue. Is this really not going to sell for $1? Um, wow. That's wild. You'd think that more people would want this. I thought this was cool. So sometimes you got to check yourself because what you think is cool is apparently whack. Nobody really wants this, um, but it is what it is. I try to keep it interesting. So after something like this, like after you kicked in the nuts with something that's not popular that you thought it was, and it only sells for $3, you got to follow it up with something a little bit more fire so people don't leave your chat. So let's pick a brand that always sells well on the stream, which is Mountain Hardware. Mountain Hardware jacket. This is a man's size medium. Mountain Hardware sells well. Two-tone, black and wed. By wed, I mean red. This is the bread colorway. Their logo really confuses me. Like, what is this? The bread colorway, black and red. Let's go. Mountain Hardware for me on whatnot usually sells for around 24 bucks. Right now, people are kind of shy in the bidding and it's only at nine, but usually this sells for over $20. I would ask $29.99 on eBay. This is a really nice two-tone jacket. Two-tone jacket, it's got the zipper on the front. It's not completely covered in dog hair like a lot of mountain hardware stuff is, which I don't know if that's because of the demographic, but um, this one is not. Pretty clean, no major stains, no flaws, no tears. The wind stepper technology 
GK threads, nice, pick up. That would sell for a lot more if it was large or XL. That's cool. No, you, uh, no, you're good. You can chill. Gloria Vanderbilt, let's go. Brand new, size six short. So Gloria Vanderbilt, not the best brand to resell, but if it's new, I still pick it up. This is a good size. It's size six short. Brand new, this is the Amanda. This is actually one of the top selling jeans at Costco and on Amazon. Just because of the price point. Also guys, when you are out thrifting, Gloria Vanderbilt is sometimes Glow, G-L-O. So I wouldn't pick it up personally if it's pre-owned. Okay, next, Adidas, size small, hoodie, women's, full zip, hooded, three stripe. This is the stuff I like to, I pretty much pick up every single Adidas item even if it only sells for five to $10 because I just like that velocity. I think a lot of people um, really ask too much for their items. Thank you, Christy, that bag is broken. <laughs> I think so, well, I mean, I, if you could figure it out, that would be great, but it's, uh, it's kind of messed up. Gang, gang. So I love Adidas hoodies, outerwear. So you guys are probably wondering like, can you really make six figures selling mall brands? You can. Ah, uh, let's go to the next one. Okay. Let's do this for fun. Citizens of Humanity, let's go. Citizens of Humanity, premium vintage cut. This is size 27. Very cute. This is a salmon colorway, button fly. These are really cute. Premium vintage in size 27. So I personally used to take all these, these tags off, but I don't anymore. Any XL, I have lots of XL. So guys, I apologize. Normally I preload everything into the stream, um, but today I only had limited time. So I'm just gonna be running through these without, and I'll show you guys and I'll ship everything by tomorrow. We, we try to ship same day, but sometimes it's tomorrow. Any Miss Me brand? Maybe, I'll look. I usually pick up one to three Miss Me per week. So um, we haven't hit one yet today. We hit Mother, we hit Frame. Any other um, brands that you guys hit all the time that are really valuable? A Gold Day does really well for me. Oh, we're still going. Citizens for 11 bucks. Cheaper than my Goodwill. Let's go. A Gold Day, yep. Good American. I don't have Good American today, but Good American sells really well for me. Let's see. Oh, we'll do a brand that, a sleeper brand that, I mean, maybe it's not a sleeper for you guys, but I didn't really know how well it sold until I started to pick it up. Mint condition, you're back, appreciate you. Okay, next, Rails jacket, women's size medium. Rails kills it for me. The button downs are awesome. Fashion Nova does not sell well for me. I don't sell Fashion Nova. Rails kills it. Um, the button-down shirts, one of my top sellers when I sold women's clothing on eBay. Rails kills it. Tord sells well. Rails. Yeah, Rails I think is really nice. This is a medium women's jacket. It's like a shirt jacket. I wouldn't use the word shirt jacket, right? Yes. I do. I do. I fold all my items the night before so the wrinkles come out. Another nice brand, Rag and Bone, size 26, light wash. Rag and Bone's another brand that sells well for me. That's what the tag looks like. Rag and Bone. So guys, how many items do I look through to find items to sell in my store each week? 40,000. So I think people greatly underestimate how much time it takes to find stuff. Every single week I go through 40,000 items to find the stuff that I sell. It's no joke, it's a lot of stuff. So, and I'm currently at the level of around 30K a week. So, um, to get to where I wanna be, 
I need to 7x that. So I need to get to 200,000 a week. I, I don't know how to do that, but that's where I want to be. All right, Donald Duck, Disney, let's see. Where do I source at? Goodwill Bins. Donald Duck, Xmas Team, Daisy Duck. This is like a Christmas sweater. It's not really ugly though. It's like a, just a normal Christmas sweater. I don't know if I would wear this. Daisy's cool, but um, it doesn't say the size. So, Vintage Clubhouse, thank, thank you for buying that piece that I did not accurate, or I mean, did, I described very poorly. I don't even, those items never make it into my house. Um, Johnson leather, leather jacket, very, very heavy piece. Very nice leather jacket, Johnson leather. Here's the logo. I don't pick up this brand very often, but um, it's a really, really nice piece. I sell Wilson's, I sell Johnson, um, whatever it is. Lexi with the steel, $3. And this friend has a question. What's up, Ann? Um, total staff on the payroll, um, seven. So LL Bean trench coat here, rain trench coat. This is sick. Don't let this sell for a dollar. This is really nice. LL Bean women's large. This is a really, really cool hooded rain trench coat. Somebody who lives in cold weather really does need this. Really, really sweet jacket. Really long, keep you dry. Wear this with some rain boots. Wear this with some duck boots you will stay dry sick. So yeah, total payroll for me is around 270,000 a year. Um, and that's for all my crew. And then um, by myself, so if I shut everything down and I just did it myself, I would personally just do um, 150,000 per year. If I was gonna do reselling by myself, I would just work Sunday only and take six days off. Um, how I would do it is, actually I would still have to do shipping. So Sunday, I would go to the flea market, list my 210 items, try to do my $3,000 profit just on Sunday, take the rest of the week off except for shipping. That's how I would organize it. Irene at Fab Two Signs. Where do you source everything? Goodwill bins. Okay, sport, Dartmouth, hockey jersey. Nice piece, spell out Dartmouth. Dartmouth sells well for me. All the college teams do. Okay, sport tag, I would assume this is older. What not set shipping? What is my cost to have that many items washed? Um, it's pretty cheap. I would say maybe, okay, this is going to sound kind of crazy, but like 30 cents a pound or less. Not that much. I get a bulk discount. Dartmouth hockey jersey, $9 is a steal. LL beans from your state, that's awesome. Size large. I got lots of size large today. We're gonna run till we get 200 items today and give you guys an idea. I'm hoping that I hit $3,300 in sales, which will be net $2,000, which will give you guys an idea of what you could do in a week running these 200 items, but I like to do it all in one day, ideally, or ideally. Motivende, I appreciate your repeat business today. Every additional item ships for 150 guys, $5 for the first item, 150 after that. No stains. That's insane. Okay, mint condition, nice pickup. Very difficult to find something like this with no stains. Look at the color. It's crazy. Okay, next. I believe this is vintage. Let's go, Adidas. Somebody help me out, this has gotta be vintage. It feels vintage. This is a vintage Adidas windbreaker. Track jacket, very, very cool piece. Men's medium, really, really cool piece. It's got the satin finish, so it's shiny. Make sure to use that, that keyword satin, really nice. 80s, maybe 90s, nice. It's a really nice piece. I really like it. 
So you got to pick up everything that you think looks cool. Adidas, honestly, this may seem kind of basic, but still selling for $16. So those of you in the chat right now, how much money do you want to make per week if you're a reseller? Well, let me know in the chat. Are you a reseller or are you here to buy something for yourself? Reseller, buy for yourself or both? 3000 a week is that's the thrifted's goal. This is a black sweater that I shouldn't. Oh, it's Nike. Black Nike sweater. Um, the size tag is ripped out. I would guess this is size double XL. Double XL black, black on black on black. Crew neck with the kangaroo pocket. I haven't, this is kind of an interesting style. You guys don't see this too often. It's a crew neck with the kangaroo pocket. I mean, I don't, I don't really see that too much. That's, that's kind of a unique style in the black on black. I didn't see the logo kind of blended in. Nice piece. It is lit. Somebody said Liddy. Thrift Meets Boutique, their goal is 3000 per week. I like that goal. That would be my goal if I didn't have any staff. Also, guys, like today I wanted to attack somebody because people said that it's easier with staff. It's 100% not easier with staff. This is the Adidas logo, kind of a 3D logo on the front. Have you guys, size large, size large, Adidas, men's. Um, it's not easier with staff. Who says that? Try having staff. It's, it's, it's hard. Everyone that, like, that works for me, I try to pay them a living wage. I don't, do you know how hard that is? It's really hard. Like, I really, 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 really respect people who have businesses. It's freaking hard. Like, especially in California. To live here is really hard. I'm doing my best to try to figure out a living wage for everybody. It's not easy. It's not easy to do it, do it with staff. It's much easier to do it yourself. This is a really nice 3D Adidas graphic. Don't see that too often. Somebody was asking for size large. We got you. We got you. What sizes do you guys want? Where am I at? Where am I at? Where am me at? I'm in Oakland, California. <clears throat> you were in management for 20 years. I would hate to manage nowadays. It's just, it's challenging. It's not that easy. Oh, snap. Champion, double XL, Carlton, crew neck. Let's go. I don't know where Carlton is. Guys, help me out. Where is Carlton? Retail management is different, man. It's, it hits different. As the kids would say, <laughs> management hits different. Respectfully. Let's go. My, tic my TikTok is kind of weak, but I did pretty good considering... I only did maybe 10 TikToks. I have like a pretty decent amount of followers considering I don't know what I'm doing. But please follow my Twitter. I want that blue check mark. Let's go. Stanford champion hoodie, size small. Let's go. Men's small champion with the cardinal on the sleeve hit. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I just learned something. What's up? Oh. Seconded by, seconded by Irene. Irene at that time. Thank you, guys. Can you help me with the water? Huh? Please. Oh, yeah, sure. Also, guys, to give you an idea of the overhead, um, my overhead is more than $3,000 a day. Okay? So when I wake up, I'm $3,000 in debt. So, like, is that easier than you wake up and you just have to take care of yourself? I don't know. I don't know if it's easier. Uh, I just think that people don't, I don't know. They, everybody wants to be an entrepreneur, but are you ready for the stress? Are you ready? Adidas, size large, track pants. Let's go. Blue with gray stripe. With the climate warm technology, let's go. Also, guys, the comment that I used to really hate on YouTube, I was telling Chrissy this earlier, was, uh, you look tired. I've just been like, what the fuck? Sorry for the swear word. When I got that comment, I was like, it really pissed me off, right? But I didn't know why. So um, I asked my friend, who's a psychologist, like, why does this bother me? And he's like, he threw it right back at me, actually. He said, why do you think it bothers you? And so I, 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 I didn't really have the answer, but um, it hit me. You guys ready? This is what, what happened. I saw this happen. 
to another guy on TV. This girl walked up to him and said, wow, I haven't seen you in a long time. You look really tired and you look really old, right? You would think that's pretty insulting. And the guy said, he threw it right back at her and said, a, a small price to pay for a life of purpose. So I was like, damn. Like, I got hit with that comment and it knocked me down. He got hit with the comment and he reflected it back and smashed her. I don't know. It was just interesting. So now I think of that. A small price to pay for a life of purpose. Polo Ralph Lauren, long sleeve, pajama wear, 100% cotton. You know what's interesting is this is the flannel pajama wear top with the small pony. Uh, it doesn't say flammable. A lot of the pajama stuff says flammable on it, which is interesting. Size extra large. Size extra large, men's, small pony, pajama wear. Th that's true. You can't have purpose without looking tired. I just, for some reason, it hit me. Hit me different. That's all. The material is cotton, 100% cotton. Is that why? There's no um, flame warning on it? I keep them numbered. You want to see how we number it? Can we show a sample? Hmm? Can we show a sample? Of the number? Or, I mean, actually, maybe the roll. You want the roll? Yeah. So we number it like this, guys. There's a number on it. And then uh, when we ship, we have that number. Today, it's off by one. The polo size was extra large. One second. We are, are we two hours in? Oh, we're, we're an hour and a half in, guys, and we are on number 84. Not bad. Let's go. Next item, the North Face. Women's large hoodie. Full graphic, graphic front. I'm gonna call it a box logo. I like it. North Face, muted blue. This looks like a soft, comfy hoodie that you would wear when you go into the grocery store. No one would bother you. In peace, no stains, no flaws, no tears, no snags, no moth, moth holes, no scent. Everything is washed with no, no scent deodorant. Oh, still going. Size women's large, Blizzmarts, thank you. We might need a new, let's go a new rack after this one. Okay. Polo Ralph Lauren, crew neck, size medium, Hong Kong. So, okay, in my opinion, this logo looks a little bit off, but I don't think it is. I think this is legit. Polo Ralph Lauren, Hong Kong, size medium. It just doesn't look as crispy as the newer ones. My bid timer is 15 seconds. Uh, men's medium crew neck blue with the small pony. I think it's legit though. For, this is from me selling like a few thousand pieces of Ralph Lauren. Not like millions of pieces like tech and sports, but I'm 99% sure this is legit. Hong Kong polo Ralph Lauren tag size medium. I use the 15 second timer. Many, many mods. Two questions, thank you. Let's go. First one, do you always wash everything? Yes. What's up? How do you know when something is fake or real? Like what fake or, and brands that can have a higher counterfeit rate? Just from practice. That's all. You gotta just study tags. Touch, feel, feel them. Okay, Adidas. Men's large. Really cool Adidas piece. There's the logo, US large. Great graphic in the front, Adidas. Yes. My laundry service takes care of most small stains. I don't wash new with tags now. All pre-owned items. It's a really nice Adidas hoodie. Nice piece. Yep. Nice piece. So I recovered from that last polo hoodie that only sold for $3 and I lost money. This Adidas hoodie brought me back over the average. Somebody do the math for me. How much do I need to average 3,300 for 200 pieces. 1650, is that right? 1650, is that right? 
Um, okay, here we go. Y'all ready? I have tons of Ralph Lauren. Okay, Beta Brand, size large. This color is Violet Twill. And as you guys know, I told you earlier, some of the Goodwills I thrift at, um, Beta Brand sells their samples. So this is new without tags. This is a store sample, Violet, Violet Twill. One nice part is the logo is actually not drawn through. Sometimes they cross out the logo so you can't return it. Um, but this is, this is probably a sample from the store because you can see right there on top, you can see that little, little damage right there. But this has not been worn, it's not stretched out. Beta brand, this kills it. Okay, give me a second. Okay guys, so I got an average 1650 today. Um, I got an average 1650 today for all 200 items. Let's see what we're at. Let me look up, let me look up the, uh, okay. Let me look up what not so far and see how we're doing. <clears throat> okay, we've sold 88 items for $1,355 so far. So we're averaging at 15 something. So I'm a little bit off. I'm about $1 off the $2,000 profit so far. So in the remaining items, I've got to average a little bit more. So like 17 ish in order to reach my goal. So this is important to realize because it's based on averages. It's not based on one piece. That's why I don't care about returns. I have tons of free people. Adidas, size small, jogger shorts. This, these are really cool because of the three stripe back pocket. So my goal today is, is 3,300 and I'm at 15 something. So I'm about halfway there. Oops. I'm almost halfway there. And I'll let you guys know how I go, but the goal today is to demonstrate. And also, you're going to get higher prices on eBay. Okay, so you should be able to more easily do it on eBay. This is a nice piece. Adriana, nice pickup. Okay, here we go. This is a nice piece. Columbia Sportswear, size small. By myself, I can only really do around 400 a day. I tried it um, before I had staff on whatnot. The most I was able to do was 400 auctions in one day and ship it all. So it was a lot of work. Right now we don't run at that kind of volume even with staff. Size small, vintage Columbia jacket. So one thing interesting, uh, on eBay I did most of the work. I did all the shipping. I, I hit the blue button on all the listings. Great finds for you, did you just steal my jacket? Oh my God. Vintage Columbia heavy jacket for $8. Sheesh. That is rough. That is rough. Okay, so guys, how that works, right? When you're doing your math, when you sell an item for $8 and you're trying to get $16, you have to now sell an item for $24 to break back even to the $16 average that I need today. So, it's interesting. I'm looking through these pieces and thinking in my brain. How do I get that dollar amount? How do I get that dollar amount? Okay, so this is interesting. I've never actually sold this brand. Browning. I assume this is a hunting jacket. Am I right? The only time I have seen the Browning, this is a size large vest, is on a gun safe, right? I don't know. That's the only time I've ever seen that brand Browning is at Costco on the gun safe. So I don't know this brand. I don't know if this is valuable. It's got mesh on the back. Do you guys use this for hunting? I don't know. Pretty cool logo actually. Kind of reminds me of Arcteryx, size large. Showgirl says browning is expensive. I'm assuming it is because they make gun safes. Uh, personally, I don't see it out, a lot out here and there's not a lot of guns in California. Made in Taiwan, that's, that's wild. Great hunting vest, nice. Hunting fishing vest. Thank you, showgirl. Nice. Casa Chic. Is that the Casa Chic I know? Casa, Casa Chic. Okay, next. Beta brand again. What's up? Hope all is well. Beta brand size large, another sample. This color is Raspberry Beret. Beta brand is a competitor to Lululemon and Athleta. 
This is a pair of sort of formal leggings that you would wear uh, if you're like a corporate lady. Um, really, really nice. Beta brand, I'd probably ask $54 for these on eBay. Casa Chic. Anything hunting is high dollar. That's right, House of Chic. So guys, as you know, I'm trying to average $16.25, or $16.50 today, and I'll, I'll give you an idea of where we're at as we continue, but it's much easier to average that, because this would have sold for easily $40 on eBay. So it's kind of sad that we're on whatnot now, giving stuff away, but just part of it. Any Aussies in the house? Outback Australia brand. This is a men's size medium jacket, Australia. Spill out on the front. Really nice piece. I am helping resellers here, so follow me on YouTube. Uh, follow me on YouTube, I appreciate you. I'm gonna throw something in the chat here just for fun. Um, hopefully you guys will, will hook up the stream. And I have been building a following for five straight years. Um, and I think I've been very consistent. If you guys have been following me for five years, I've been putting out a ton of content, all related to the same goal, which is helping you guys um, make more money and save more time. Okay, so just for fun and to show you guys the power of social media, I'm gonna do something in the buy it now right now. Okay, so I have 10 stickers for you guys, okay? Make progress daily. These are designed by Christine, my videographer. Um, I have these in the buy now, right, for $5. So you can buy me a coffee for the introduction. And hopefully this stream is useful for you guys and you've learned something. So if you buy a sticker, you can support the stream. This is one way you can build a social media following is when you sell merch, people support your stream so that you can continue to do that for other people. So um, just from my experience, if you have a valuable channel, if you're helping people out, um, you can make more streams of income and make more content to help people. So it's interesting. Christine designed those, she did really good. So I have 10 of those. If you guys wanna buy me a coffee for the intro, in if you wanna buy me a coffee for the help today, I threw these in the chat. Thank you, Thrift Meets Boutique. I appreciate you very much. Okay, so let's go. But that's one way you can monetize your channel is you can actually uh, offer merch or a thank you card, or thank you, a thank you product. So next is a pair of Madewell jeans, size 33 mid-rise, mid-rise skinny. So I'll show you guys these Madewell jeans. Madewell is the tag right there. Madewell was really how I made most of my money on eBay. Here's the tag. It's always on the, the front left. Nine inch mid-rise skinny. So these jeans, I asked like $30 on eBay. Um, what not, they don't sell for as much because there's not as many people. Like there's just not enough people. There's like 177 people here in the chat, which I consider a lot of people. Thank you, four coffees sold. I appreciate y'all. Um, but I'm just showing you guys the power of social media, right? If you build a following, if you provide value, you can do something like that. And um, I'll tell you that, um, okay, you know what, was, this is so weird. Um, but you know what, I'm vulnerable with you guys. I share stuff with you. So thank you for everybody who bought um, a coffee for me. NHL quarter zip, San Jose Sharks. Uh, this is a quarter zip, men's large, San Jose Sharks. Um, you can buy the stickers in the buy now. I put 10 in there for five bucks if you want to buy me a coffee. But I'm going to be vulnerable with you guys for a moment here. Um, the other day I was sitting um, with, by myself in the kitchen and my wife was like, What's, what are you thinking about? And I was like, I think money buys happiness, which sounds weird, right? But I'm just telling you, like, not being paycheck to paycheck is awesome. So I don't know. That, that's all I can say. Maybe money doesn't buy happiness, but not being paycheck to paycheck, it's like the best thing ever. So... That's why right now I'm really into trying to, to help other people make more money, save more time. 
women's extra large hoodie. And she's like, bro, you were happy before. My wife says I was happy when I was paycheck to paycheck too. But I don't know. I feel like I'm more happy not being paycheck to paycheck. Women's large, or sorry, extra large hoodie, fleece. North Face, let's go. Um, this is a really nice hoodie. There's a question. I'm not sure if you got to it while I was gone. Nope. Uh, have you ever found that measurements on the upper end of the body different than measuring dimensions? I had a situation where a 34 by 32 was a 34 by 26. Hell yeah. The, because people's bodies are different, so they stretch out clothing differently, you have to have measurements. Sometimes a size small measures a size large. Sometimes a size large measures a size extra small. So you got to be careful when you're selling clothing. Expect returns. I like to include the verbiage. Everybody write this down. Um, measurements approximate. Please measure your favorite garments to ensure a proper fit. What do you guys think? That was just, that, that was just what, I, what, I, uh, what I used to try to reduce returns. Okay. Buffalo, David Baton. That's the logo. This is a big furry jacket. It's uh, men's size extra large. Very heavy, very warm. Somebody who lives somewhere warm, I think you would like this. We're running 200 pieces today. Rapid fire. Um, this brand is really soft. What's up? Oh, question whenever you're ready. Go for it. You can make what sells, you can make, okay, I'll tell you how to do YouTube. We just um, started a YouTube call on my Patreon. Um, this is what I think. There is Hero's Journey, okay? This is where you watch somebody go through their transformation from wherever they were before to where they want to go. My channel has some of that. Because if you guys have been following me since 2017, I'm a lot different person now than I was in 2017. They're totally different. Hero's journey, that's important. So wherever you are to where you're going, that's great. Also, like here's an example of that also. Harry Tornado, right? His channel is crazy because he has a large hero's journey. That dude, that dude grew a lot. He's a lot different human being now. So it's nice to see. When I first talked to Harry Tornado, he was like, can I make four grand a month between YouTube and reselling? And now like he's killing that. Um so, oh, you want free people? Let me look for it. Adidas, size medium shorts. Hero's Journey is a big one. The next one is going to be educational. This, these are really nice Adidas shorts. Somebody pick these up. Size medium. Blizzmart, it's nice, nice steal for a dollar. Let me see if I have any free people convenient. Let's see. Today is a lot of men's heavy. Wait, I don't have free people, but this is pretty cute. Let's do this while I look for free people. Madewell dress, size two. I think this is super cute. It's only selling for a dollar right now. I'm gonna look for free people in just a moment. I think I do have some. If not, it'll be in the next one. I think this is really cute though. Size two, Madewell dress. There's the tag, Madewell. I'll keep looking. Oh, you're a little thick? Okay. What size? Thicker than size? I, I, I guess it depends on who you compare yourself to. Don't compare yourself to others. And some, I mean, most guys like thick, to be honest. I don't know if that's appropriate to say, but <laughs> pro, pro, probably, I mean, I don't think it's a bad thing. So, made well. Size two, Nurse Willow with the steel. $11. Okay. Yeah. Is it possible to resell on eBay? If I'm from a different market, I can resell it. I want to join the membership. Yes, it's harder though. eBay has the biggest market, but we have people in the group from all over. New Zealand. Um, I don't have any free people. I'm sorry, I looked. I have free people for the following shows, but not today. Um, Paguchi, size medium. Organic cotton, men's button down. Nice color. Nice muted color. Size six, size six to eight. That's not even, that's not thick. That's just right. Come on guys. I don't, actually, I have no idea. 
Six to eight, I feel like is a great size. I don't know if that's, I don't think that that is considered thick. Patagonia, size medium, button down, men's. More Ralph Lauren? I say Ralph Lauren because it sounds bougie, but do you guys say Ralph Lauren? I wouldn't say it's thick. You guys, I won't say it, you guys say it. Say it in the chat so I don't get in trouble. Savvy Krista, thank you. You want Ralph Lauren? Let's do a polo. Size extra large men's in the fuchsia colorway with the pink small pony. Big pony does sell better. I have only sold one item on Depop, a Supreme Camo Fanny Pack. It was sick, but I think that a Supreme Camo Fanny Pack would sell on any platform. Uh, I just thought it was really like something that the kids would want. It's a good polo. Someone steal this stolen, $8. Okay, what do you guys want? Okay. Are you guys resellers? Are you selling for your, buying for yourself? Let's try some different brands. Today, okay, those of you on YouTube, are some of these brands brands you've never heard of because this is like a clinic on different brands that you can sell for a profit. All right, Adriana Goldschmied, let's go. AG, Adriana Goldschmied, one of the people that got me suspended on eBay, sent me shoes. That person works at Adriana Goldschmied. No hate, I respect it. Very, very, very clean pair of, of uh, jeans. These are size 26R or size two. Really, really nice jeans. Somebody please pick these up for, their, for yourself. Really nice wash, nice distressing. Really cute. Adriana Goldschmied, fantastic brand. I can't believe these are getting stolen for like $7. That's so weak. Um, I don't, there's, I can't sell on YouTube via live auctions because it's too hard to collect the payment. So Whatnot has been, a, has been awesome to me. I'm grateful for Whatnot because they can collect the 26R. The payment is, um, they collect the payment and they generate the shipping label for me. Okay, here we go. You guys ready for some Carhartt? Let's go. Carhartt, heavy work jacket, size 38. Um, this is really nice. It's like a heavy cotton. 38, I would say, is size small. Is that right? Really nice Carhartt jacket. Yeah, this could be a nice oversized jacket for a lady as well. There's the logo. I rarely find Carhartt. It's really hard to find. So, so right now what I'm going to do is um, I am going to... Oh, the goal of today's stream is to do $3,300. Um, $3,300 would mean that I earn a $2,000 profit from today's stream, which is six figures. So I want to show you guys how to do that, how I set it up, how we do the numbers. Um, Christy, hopefully she's not too worn out. She's my assistant today and um, moving the stuff away. She's chilling. She's helping me with the YouTube questions. What's next? Questions? Oh, someone just frozen in Oh, is it frozen? I hope not. Is it frozen on YouTube? I hope. Let's see. It's not frozen on your phone. Okay. Because I just plugged it into the charger. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right. This is a really cool Adidas hoodie. U.S. size medium. Let's go. Okay. I really like this. The center Adidas logo. A little more subtle. Not so in your face like the big weed plant. With the contrasting colors. This is pretty cool. You got red on one side. Black on one side. Great contrast. Please do not let this go for $3. Really nice hoodie. So I like to check and see if there are any stains. Wait, you want what I have? What does that mean? What, what do I have? What do I have that you want? This is a modern tag, not vintage. I personally do, oh, success. Thank you. Um, but I'm telling you, like, there's a price to pay. Everything has a price to pay. There's a price to pay. This is a medium, yeah, definitely. Men's medium. Savvy Krista, thank you. Okay, let's do polo. 
Mall brand, mall brand session, Polo Ralph Lauren, size large, crew neck, 100% cotton, white pony. Question, comment? Oh, you want to hear the comment? Is it rude? Okay. It's very irrelevant. Okay. What do you guys think? I'm gonna say let's go as much as I want. I can do whatever I want. This is Chris's stream. Wait, do you, do you guys not use let's go? Are you an adult? I say let's go all the time. Everyone throw me a let's go in the chat. Let's go, let's go. Uh, okay. Wait, 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 somebody said guys say that. Is that a guy thing? Do you say let's go? Is it a, I don't know if it's a guy thing. <laughs> Does it always have to be about gender? Let's go. Okay, LL Bean. This is the um, women's. It's kind of a puffer jacket, size small, really cute, blue. You got it. I appreciate appreciate you picking up the polo. I appreciate you. Oh, it sounds like a sports thing. Oh, quilted, thank you. Not puffer, quilted. Gotta check me. Let's check me. Everybody's with let's go. Is, are they? Mm -hmm. I like it. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's a guy thing. Okay. Mandarin collar. Thank you. Thin slit. Mermaid jewels. Thank you guys for helping me with the item specifics. Uh, let's see. Let's try a new item. Let's try a new item. Let's go. Catherine, cut from the cloth, brand new jeans. These are size 22 W. W is the true plus size with the cuffed. Do you guys say cuffed hem? What do you guys say? Do you guys say cuffed hem? I think these are nice. Catherine, or I'm sorry. Um, Cut from the cloth. It's the Catherine boyfriend cut. These are brand new. That's all oh, rolled. Thank you. Lori Beth with the rolled cuff. Brand new dead stock. True plus size because it has the W. So I say, whoa man for the W. Yeah. Iver, Iver. Iver, Iver. 15 bucks is a steal for a pair of brand new jeans. You guys ready to go crazy? Crazy, crazy? Mint condition, what's up? Uh, let's see, do we want to do something epic? What should we sell? All right, let's do something epic. I want to do something epic just for fun. Just to hype people up. So this pair of shoes sells for 600 on StockX, brand new, but this is not brand new and this is uh, pre-owned, gently worn, size 11 and a half. It's the Shack Gnosis, size 11 and a half. So this is not gonna sell for enough money. So I'm gonna let somebody make some profit here um, because I appreciate you guys stopping by. Let's do, let's, let's do, a, um, let's do a shoe. Definitely Ivers. Ivers. Got it. Okay, these are crazy. This is a sneaker stuff. Collaboration, $600 on StockX new, but these have been worn once. So, Shacknosis Sneak, Sneaker and Stuff Collaboration. Um, you could pass these as dead stock, but I think they have been worn once, but you can't really tell. Dead stock with, or I won't say dead stock. Worn once, original box, sneaker and stuff. Just to keep it interesting, someone's gonna get a steal on this because it's worth way more than 211. Um, but I want to keep it fun. It's for both pairs. And you guys, you guys tell me. That's pretty close to dead stock. There's no, there's no wear. These have not been cleaned. One pair. I'm just saying it's both Reebok pump. You guys remember these. The shack on the back. These are insane. Just one pair, both shoes. Because I guess people were on here selling one shoe. Both shoes and the original box. Insane shoes, 650 on StockX. 
right? Try it on as they say. But the, these, these don't have any creases. They're suede and they're perfect. I just don't want to over deliver or over promise. They're insane. Size 11 and a half, wild. So um, just to give you guys an idea, just because they're trying to keep it interesting, you got to keep people in the chat interested or they'll leave. And so now my goal was 3,300. I have to add $321 to that because this is not included in the thrift challenge. So I got to do 30. Um, so we'll put a sticker on this guy. Oh, actually, there's no, this is not numbered. This is the only shoe, so we'll just leave it. Okay. Thank you. 1407, no, 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 it, it, 1407 is good. Cause uh, yeah, no, no, because it's, it doesn't have a number. 07, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect, because this is, this is 07. Got it. Okay. All right, guys, back to beta brand. Beta brand size medium, petite. Um, another store sample. Congratulations, Thrifty Mom. Appreciate you. This is a pair of gray beta brand size medium, petite. I would ask $45 for these on eBay. Perfect condition. This is a store sample. Does not have the beta band crossed out. But there's a lot of beta brand in here today because I, like I said a few times in the chat, one of the Goodwills that I go to, the samples are donated there. So you got to know what's around you. In my area, Levi's, beta brand, Banana Republic, Levi. Holy crap, it almost sold for $13. Someone almost ripped me off. The alarm didn't go off. Beta brand's an insane brand. So shout out to Posh Hanger. I'm sure most of you guys follow uh, the Posh Hanger on Instagram. Um, I learned about this brand in her store. So it's nice to follow the people who live to you locally. Nice pickup. Okay. Oh, I can bundle some. I could. But I'm just trying to show people some different stuff today. Notre Dame champion, size large, men's hoodie, fighting Irish. $1. Let's go. Notre Dame hoodie, $1. Oh, still got the Goodwill tag on it. I'll leave on it just for fun. $9 at Goodwill. I got it at um, Goodwill bins, but that's how much my Goodwill charges. How much do people, what does your Goodwill charge for this? $10 here. It's selling for less than Goodwill right now. Oh, snap. What do you guys, uh, what do you guys, that's probably why I went to the bins, right? It didn't sell for 10. What do you guys, what does it charge for you guys? $10 here. Nintendo Collectibles says 7 to 8. In Destin, it's way higher than that. $10 for a new Don. Okay, what do we want to sell? Oh, this is cute. Let's sell this. This is a cute crop hoodie. Women's size extra large. Wow. This is sick. Women's crop hoodie. Really cute. Kind of a faded black color. Women's size extra large. Adidas. Big logo, big graphic in the front. Very cute. 80s style. Goodwill is increasing prices in their area. Or I mean, everywhere, pretty much. Everywhere. We got one hour left, guys. $9 for this crop. That's really cheap. This is a really nice piece. It is cute. I think this is something that you could lounge in. Little Adidas hit on the side. Kim Watson. Okay. What's up? Chris? Thank you. I'll just leave you here. Appreciate it. Okay. Madewell sweater, size large. This is a pocket crew neck. Don't see this too often. This is a very thick sweater. So a lot of Madewell stuff is really thin, but this is actually thicker. There's the Madewell large. I wouldn't say this is over, over, uh, oversized. Purple Rube is saying, let's go. I don't say that anymore. I'm a grown man. <laughs> I'm a grown man. I don't say let's go anymore. Savvy Krista. What a steal. 10 bucks. Nice. Okay. Okay. Let's go. I said it again. The North Face women's large windbreaker. I like this a lot. Somebody, this is, this is going to be really, um, you, could, you could fold this into a very small form. Adidas, 
half zip windbreaker. I'm sorry, Adidas by Adidas, I mean North Face. North Face half zip windbreaker, women's. This is really nice. Women's size large. This piece is a good staple to have in case it, you know, it rains where you guys go. Very foldable. Yeah, very foldable. It's very light, very lightweight. No, that wasn't the deal of the day alarm, but we will have that. We will have that. EBB sellers. There's no shortcut to success, my friend. One at a time. That's how I look it up. Okay. Men's, Levi's jacket, size medium. Denim jacket. Very, very nice. Very thick. Show you guys the logo. It's pretty cool. Uh, if I may insert a comment, though. Yeah, please. For electric Phoenix. Um, nice jacket. Something I've used successfully while lifting for things like that is using the Google Lens reverse image search mm, option. Very smart. I would also download the Google app. So Google, the Google app has the button for um, Google Lens. $25 for this Levi's jacket. That's a little light, but thank you, Designer Treasure Hunt. I appreciate every dollar. Our goal today is $16.50 per item, so I can show you guys a $2,000 profit. Orvis, size large. Yes. I don't recommend Google Image because it takes a long time. I would rather just type what it is. Like, okay, as an example, somebody in our toy call, we have a Patreon where we teach people how to resell. We have a toy-specific call. This guy put, um, he's like, let's look up this Garf Garfield cat. And he used Google Lens. And um, it took about six minutes to list the Garfield toy, right? And using Google image, it took six minutes. And somebody said, what if you don't know who Garfield is? Right? So what would you guys type in if you didn't know who Garfield was? <laughs> and on, 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 the, on the Garfield, there was a number. Okay? So what would you type in? Okay, this is crazy. <laughs> if you type in orange cat, with the number, it pulls up the exact toy. It's hilarious. So obviously, it's, it's, it's a lot faster to just type what it is. And then somebody said, what if you don't know it's a cat? I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's just faster to type it in. It's faster to type it in. Okay. Lots of Madewell today. Yeah, cartoon orange cat. Madewell, size 25. Stripe, this is a um, high rise wide crop and really, really good style. So, also a cute color. Size 25. Wait, oh, I'm sorry, did I not start it? Let me start it. What number are we on? We are on 1414, is the one you have in your hands. Four, what number is that? This is 1413. This only sold for $8? Oh, okay. No. Oh no, that's terrible. Okay, so. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Oh no, it's one off. This one didn't run. Okay. Yeah, okay, sorry. Whew. I was scared. I thought this one ran. It didn't run. Okay, made well. High rise crop. Because there's no way this is sell for $8. This is really cute. Size 25. This style is really in. Or maybe it will sell for $8, but I think it's worth more than that. I would ask $32.99 on eBay for these. I know. I think these, these, these are really cute. Um, also, every single item that I handpicked by me. So, I don't think thrifting is dead. Thrifting is not dead. Retro, what's up? Did all the, did all the buy it now sell out? Buy me a coffee? I appreciate everyone. Buy me a coffee. Um, Retro Rick is just here to shop. Retro Rick, I appreciate you. I can't believe how wild your streams are. I tried to copy one and I failed. I was trying to do this stream where 
Um, Cause Retro Rick did this auction with 800 auctions and it was wild. I tried to recreate that and I fell flat on my face. It was really hard. That, that was wild. I've never seen anything like that. Retro Rick, great job. I gotta learn hype from that guy. That was amazing. Um, what's my opinion for Goodwill's new website? I like it a lot. Madewell, this is the Road Trippin, or oh, Road Tripper, size 25. Oh, you had four people running the show. That probably helps a lot, but that was awesome. Madewell for $5 right now. This is the Road Tripper, size 25. I saw that show and I was like, oh my God, I don't know what I'm doing. After I saw that show, I was like, I'm a beginner. Because it was amazing. I've never seen hype like that. People were going wild. Everybody follow Rich or Rick if you haven't before. That was an insane show. The website. Somebody throw it in the chat. What is Goodwill's new website where they teach you how to resell? Um, Retro Rick's supposed to be a flip con. I know. Um, hopefully I do get to see you there. If not, we will meet one day. I've met most of the resellers in person. We do have a lot of Madewell today, but I want to do something different. Um, okay, let's do this. This is a really nice piece. Uh, let's see if we can find the size. Okay. Women's medium, mountain hardware, fuzzy. I love the fuzzies. This is the teddy bear jacket. Very, very cute. Women's medium. It's like Patagonia. North Face also makes this, but North, uh, Mountain Hardware is a fantastic brand. This is really cute. Very furry. It's almost like, um, like golf course moss. Like, um, I don't know how to describe this, but it's awesome. I would list this on eBay for $29.99. AstroTurf, yeah, turf, turf, thank you. It's like AstroTurf. It's really cute, it's really soft, size medium women's, Kim Watts, a nice pickup. It's really nice. Do I have any more leather or denim jackets? Let me see. I got a jersey, anybody want that? Okay. This is a really nice leather jacket. Let me see if I can find a size, medium, okay. Let's go. Dockers, medium, leather vest. And by vest, I mean jacket. Leather jacket, really, really nice piece. Dockers, heavy leather, um, size medium. This jacket probably $149, but at Goodwill, probably $8. It, Dockers is just not the best resale brand. It's a nice jacket though, bomber style. Any small Lulu. Uh, we can do Lulu, let's do a little Lulu right after this. What, what do you consider small Lulu? What size? I have Lulu. I definitely have Lulu today. I'm trying to decide what. Two or four. Hmm. Six for tops. Okay. Let me see. Wow. Okay. I got some interesting stuff to do today. I want to do some Versace. Anybody want Versace? And then Lulu, let's mix it up. Let's do a little, let's have a little fun here. Okay. That's definitely not small. Okay, so I don't have any Lulu convenient. I do have some, but maybe not right here. But I'm gonna run this auction right now for two air support bras. They are new. So let's do it. Two air support bras, they're brand new dead stock. One is size 40C, $98 MSRP. The other one is black and is size 34 triple D. $98. I just posted the video on YouTube talking about how I got $18,000 off when I bought a Lululemon. So I'm gonna be doing more. It's gonna be a really good deal. It's only at $56 right now. So someone's getting a steal. Hopefully one of these is one of your sizes. 40C or 34 triple D. They're going to both come in this lot. So if one is your size, you can flip one, keep one. That's probably the best. Um, 40C and 34 triple D. Easton Anderson, appreciate you. Nice pickup, $66. Screaming deal for double Lulu. Let's do some Versace, Versace. You guys ready? Two items for one. Two items for one, yep. Versace, woo, sheesh, 100% legit. 
How do you know tags are legit? You just do it a long time. Here's the logos. You want to show the logos up tight. Every single item is verified by whatnot, so you want to show as much stitching as you can. This Versace crew neck is really dope. It doesn't say, oh, it doesn't say what size it is, but I would guess extra large. Extra large Versace. I know, right? 100% legit. Make sure you show the stitching as close as possible because Whatnot can review the videos. So if you're ever wondering about high-end items, um, I know this is authentic. I've been doing this a long time. And the stitching is going to be a dead giveaway. Very difficult to copy stitching properly. Versace, Versace. So in 40,000 items of mint condition, appreciate you. In 40,000 items um, that I go through every week, I find like one item like this. It's pretty hard. I don't find a lot. Oh, we still have four copies. If you guys appreciate me, buy a Make Progress sticker in the Buy It Now for $5. If you found this stream to be useful, hook me up. I'll send you a sticker. You can support the channel. I appreciate everybody. I wouldn't be here without you guys. Um, let's see. Oh, so we've done, we've done the, um, the Patagonia furry fleece today. We did the heli or the um, mountain hardware astro turf. Now we're gonna do the women's extra small North Face fuzzy. So all these brands, all the outerwear companies have the fuzzy. Um, it's like the teddy bear jacket. The Lulu ones that we sold last stream, they sold for $126 each. So every company makes this furry, this furry jacket, size extra small. They're all very cute. Extra small, size extra small. Question What's up? Electric unit stores again. What's your opinion on drop shipping items on eBay? I'm not a fan of drop shipping. I'd rather you have the item in stock. Um, just because you can't control the person that you're drop shipping from. And it's so easy to get your account suspended. Uh, just, so just be careful. Columbia men's medium outdoor rain jacket. Soft shell, fleece lined, very, very warm. Vintage, going for $1. Oh, I have one jersey, Bulls jersey. You want to do that next, Steelers? Columbia, men's, size medium. Okay, we're going to do Bulls jersey on deck. If this, this Columbia piece has got to sell for $12, though. Come on, guys. This is embarrassing. It's a nice jacket. Navy blue. Maybe you can tighten something. Screen was frozen. Oh. This is on though. It says the um, power, the slow power. Okay. You got it? Just trying to make sure. Okay. Hmm. Tony Kukoc, interesting. Okay, guys, I'm going to need some help on this. Tony Kukoc, champion jersey. Let's go. Here's the logo, Costa Rica. Size 44. Here's the close-up. It's pretty nice. Tony Kukoc, number seven. This might be vintage. I'm not sure, though. I'm not sure why his phone isn't charging here. Oh. It's got a plug into the bottom, so take this out. Oh, okay. So we're going to take out the microphone, guys, for um, YouTube, so I'll have to yell. Definitely vintage. Steeler 714. Nice steal. $21 for the vintage. The vintage Bulls jersey. Any NFL? Let me see. Um, I'm going to look for some NFL, but in the meantime, let's run this North Face women's medium hoodie. This is a very cute print. All over, colorful, women's medium hoodie. So is thrifting dead? I'm not sure. Um, so what do you guys think? Should I do this show once a week? Because I could do this show once a week. Run 200 items. What do you guys think? I'll look for Major League Baseball. Um, 
And I appreciate you guys picking up the coffee. That helps out a lot. Mine's out. Appreciate you. You gotta run this little piece. I know this is not maybe what you're looking for, but this is a size small Giants um, jersey for Louie. Size small kids, somebody help out. So again, this is stuff that I like to sell on my eBay store, even though it doesn't sell for a lot. I like the fact that it will sell quickly. Many, many, appreciate you. Okay. Now let me so see. We there we go. Okay, we got a really good size. Let's run a beta brand extra large. Thank you, appreciate you. Beta brand extra large, new without tags, leggings in the charcoal gray color. These are like new. Um, I would say these new without tags, never been worn. Check out the, the the waistband, perfect condition. I would sell these on eBay for forty four ninety nine, or keep them for yourself. Really, really nice. Size extra large. Size extra large. Really, really nice. Boom. Extra large charcoal. Great item. You wear these. People think you're at work. You're all formal, but you're not. You're comfy, like pajamas. Do I have a storefront? I don't. This is a storage unit with electricity. Damn, let's see. Everybody else, Lululemon? Let's see the size. This is. I'm gonna run a Lululemon jacket if you guys want that. Let's see what size this is. Um, where else can I look for the size on this Lulu jacket? Is this reversible? Electric oh, Phoenix. It? Yes, do the show once a week. I'm loving it. Okay. Alicia, waist not, want not, 44. Every week would be cool. Will this you be having crazy. any other vintage band tee sh shows again? We uh, Maybe. I have a lot of vintage. So this Lulu jacket, it's in the tiny pocket, is reversible. So this Lulu jacket is reversible. On the back of the under the color, let's look. This is a reversible jacket, so it's hard to find. Let's see. So let me pull it inside out. And see what a can kind find. audience. Two Strive yeah. says, "Thank you for putting in the work to share this content with us. Appreciate These you. These videos so are like a class. Love the Q and A along with the solid knowledge." Okay, never mind. This jacket is definitely not reversible. Um, this does not look flattering. Do you want another water? Yes, please. Um, thank you, thank you. No problem. Okay, I don't know what size this is. I'm sorry. We're gonna run it anyway. But I, I'm gonna guess. This is a blue lemon jacket. I would guess it's a size. Maybe Christy can model it. You want to model this? Mm -hmm, sure. Gonna be oversized on you, but definitely. Okay. Let's see. This looks like. You guys trying to figure out the size? It looks like a large. I think it's large. a large. Yeah. We're gonna have Christy model it for fun. It better not be like the hat situation. That was very embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> on the Lulu Women's Show. I know. For those of you who are here, that was very cringy when I modeled that hat. I apologize. <laughs> I can't even wear this right now. Right. Right. <laughs> Suddenly I'm a child. Okay. I have a one year old daughter. It was similar. <laughs> similar. Dressing my one year old daughter is like a like dressing person. <laughs> Alright, so this is. Is it large? This is definitely large. Okay. Blue lemon, women's large, fleece jacket. Let's zip it up and see what happens. Okay. Ooh. Size large is fleeced in and out. Very comfy. On the back, there's the Lulu tag right here. She wears size extra small. Double extra small. Double sometimes. extra small. <laughs> so, yeah, this is yeah. Uh, definitely a large. It's Pockets a large. Are free of strange things. Yeah, pockets are free We're of free strange things. Nice right pickup, Kim. Thank you. I will hang this. Okay. <laughs> All right, Iron Maiden, anyone? Okay. 
Iron Maiden, size extra large, men's black t-shirt on the Iron Maiden tag. This looks like a Y2K tag. I don't think, I think, I would guess Christy is five foot. Yep, right? you're right on it. Yeah, five foot. She's, she's not four ten, she's five foot. Is this a 1980s concert t-shirt? I, is that true? I don't think so, is it? With the iron, I don't think so. I think this is Y2K. This does not look vintage to me. Looks like a reprint. This is not vintage. It's got to be a reprint. Mindy Jean, nice pickup. 2013. Thank you, Steelers. Ooh. Any Ireland people in the chat? This is after lemon. All right, let's go. Retro Irish, size 16, 18. Kids, extra large Ireland hoodie. And by hoodie, I mean full zip track jacket. Let's go. Let's go, Irish. Nice piece. Yeah, I definitely like to stream 200 items minimum. And we're doing our best here. We're going to go into hyperdrive soon and see if we can reach our goal. I want to try to get to um, 3,600 today. We'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. Where are we in the goal? Let me see. Give me one moment. We'll see where we are at after. My goal today is 3,600 3, minimum. So we'll see where we get at. What's the circle say? Oh. Sir, oh. Ireland, Irish eyes are smiling. What does that mean? Irish eyes are smiling? Is it fun? Are you guys enjoying this? I, I, uh, I, am I enjoying this? <laughs> are you enjoying this? Self-reflection. I, I, <laughs> I think so. I like, I like, I like hanging out with people. K Bean, you have two minutes to update your payment. Uh, what not? Your bank probably is wondering if your bank is... Your bank's wondering if what not is legit. So, I would check it out. You guys want to see where I am in the goal? Let's see. Goal is 3,600. We are at 2,400 so far. So, 1,200 left on the goal today. 1,200 left on the goal today. Okay. Manchester United, let's go. Jersey, Nike. This is a nice piece. Size extra large. Manchester United, soccer, football. Let's go. Somebody was looking for soccer earlier. Um, here you go. Totally attainable. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. So the goal, um, pretty transparent with you guys, is six grand a day with three people helping. So personally, um, I would want to go for two grand per day. So we are already at my goal if I was doing this by myself. Um, not easier to do it with staff, guys, not easier. Much harder. This is the bread colorway, black and red. $23 is a pretty good price. Thank you, Ross. Because because Ross was looking for ML, uh, MLS, so I appreciate you sticking around to get this. It's a nice piece, nice jersey. I had an Opal jersey a couple weeks ago and it sold for like 90. Um, shoot for the stars, land on the moon. Thank you for the for the bids. Nice pickup, Steeler 714. Okay. North Face hoodie, this is cute. Women's medium. This is like the smushed. I don't know why this reminds me of blueberry. It's not it's not the outside of a blueberry. Women's medium hoodie. K Bean, thank you for updating your payment. What color is this? Light purple? It is kind of a blueberry. Blueberry. Okay. In, inside of a blueberry. Yeah. Wow. North Face hoodie for seven dollars. Wow. Ooh. What a steal. Okay. We gotta mix it up, fam. 
So on YouTube, I, I mean, probably the sound has dropped a little bit, guys, because we un unhooked the microphone. Hopefully you can still hear me, though, on, um, on YouTube. Okay, next one, Everlane, size 26. We haven't done it yet today. Nice. E111. Oh, they can hear on YouTube. Nice. Everlane corduroys. Brown corduroys. Let's go. E111 says, I'm enjoying this, but not sure what's going on. Is this a live sales show? It's a I live sales show indeed. We're using the app Whatnot, so you can hop in. Everything starts at $1. The goal today is to do $3,000 in sales. I'm sorry, more than that. $3,600 in sales, because that would be a $2,000 profit. So my channel is based on making six figures, $100,000 per year. You don't have to make $100,000 per year. You can just cut the instructions in half. Okay, so... Um, you don't have to work full time. You can work part time. Uh, and you, Don, thank you. Is it? Do you have like the graphic on the back? This is um, Keith Haring. Do you guys like Keith Haring? I like this stuff. Nike size large. Team USA. USA best country. Let's go. One dollar. Men's large, full zip track jacket. Let's do it. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder how much money Retro Rick made. That, that, was, that stream was insane. Couldn't believe it. He like sold out of 800 things in one second. Never seen anything like that. That was, that was, a, that was a crazy show. What, were, what was being sold? He was selling video games. He sold 800 video games in like 10 minutes. It was wow. an amazing thing. Oh, you like Mexico more than the US? I like, um, I haven't been to Mexico, but I like a lot of countries more than the US. Um, I've been, I've been, I traveled a bit and, okay, this is kind of crazy. Guys, what um, decade is this logo? It's not vintage or is it vintage? Oh, you're Mexican American. What, what, what tag is this? I don't know this Nike tag. It's 150 after the first one. This Nike jacket's kind of special. That's why I want to make sure I get it right. Is it modern? Okay. We're going to just run it. Men's size small. This Nike jacket is crazy, okay? Because it's... Oh, 2016. Thank you, Tommy. Because this... It's like it has the, the track jacket front, which is the smooth vinyl. And it also has the stitched, oh, it's 250 extra field. Thank you for letting me know. Um, the ribbed sweater material on the outside. So I've never really seen a jacket like this with two different materials. The windbreaker material and the regular sweater material on the same jacket. Aeroswift. Thank you, Tommy Aeroswift. Appreciate you. So this is a modern tag, 2016. Nice piece, men's size small. Early 80s look. It is sweet. It's really nice. Half an hour left, guys. Half an hour left. We're going to try to boost this up. Our goal is um, 3,600-ish today. Any more soccer? I'll look for it. No more soccer. I got Nike. Uh, Yorkie Gaming. Some something to be clarified. Yeah. Not complaining, but I was charged two fifty per item after first item. More dot dot dot. More telling you to make sure you are not accidentally lying. I'm not accidentally lying. It's just the heavier items cost more to ship. So I think a T-shirt's a dollar fifty more. A sweater might be two fifty more. So. Not accidentally lighting is just based on the weight of the item, guys. Okay, men's North Face, heavy jacket, extra large. This is a really heavy jacket. It's not your normal fleece. Um, there's the tag, North Face size large. Heavy men's jacket, fleece lining. Actually, this might, this might be, 
It's more than police line. Oh, it even has a cell phone pocket. This is wool. 80% wool. North Face jacket. Okay, this is something a little bit more special. North Face wool jacket, 80% wool. It's very, very heavy. This is probably a three pound jacket. So, something special. I was gonna say, this feels different. This is not a police. Police is like that. This is different, this is wool. Winter jacket, thank you showgirl. So my YouTube channel is based on making ten or $100,000 a year reselling. Depending on the speed that you do it, um, if you, like the slowest you could do it, it would take a while, it would take 11 hours a day, and that's a pretty long work week. But I'm gonna ask you guys, um, this is you just learning how to do it. Is 55 hours a week worth it to make $100,000 a year? Can, like, obviously it could be faster if your items were all streamlined, but I don't know. I just did the math. For somebody who's just learning, takes them a long time to research the items, it would take 11 hours. It wouldn't be, it would be more than a full-time job. You would still make 100,000, but it's not what people say. It's not get rich quick, it's hard. Um, Madewell. This is the Skinny Skinny, size 28, light charcoal color. You'd have to love your job. So those of you that are resellers, do you love your job? Do you hate your job? Are you reselling because you have no other choice? Are you reselling because you love it? You don't want to work for somebody else? You want the flexible schedule? Love reselling. Made well. Going for $7 right now. Stelio. Here's the tag. This is where I built my business. Made well. You gave so much to your job for 15 years. You're disabled reselling the supplement. Definitely the case for a lot of people. Your income is hurt every time somebody says the word recession. Oh, interest. What, what industry are you in? That recession would hurt you. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know anything about this. Let's try this. So this must be juniors. Freelance publishing. Oh. Okay. This is a pair of Levi's Junior. The Junior jeans typically have the odd sub odd number, so this is 9M. So 13597. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17 are typically junior sizes. This is brand new, size 9 medium. It's a slouch straight style. So from my understanding, junior's jeans are, are straighter down. They're less curvy. Is that right? Um, I don't sell a ton of junior's jeans, typically women's um, or plus size. Steeler 714 with the steel. What's up, dude? Stop talking. We've got um, a question? comment and then a question from the same person. Let's so, Oh the Merchant says, really digging this channel. I sold my first 2K on eBay learning the ropes and fees. Congrats. Let's love, go. Love the storage shed, up, shed setup. Do you have a video showcasing the setup? Hi right. from Australia. I do. Guys, also at dailyrefinement.com, you can read the first page and it goes over everything on my channel or everything in my store for free. Dailyrefinement.com. This is a really good brand. These are G-Star jeans. Very, very expensive brand. Let's look at the size. G-Star, size 30, 32, men's jeans. Ridiculously expensive pair of jeans. But full disclosure, the reason why they were donated is this belt loop is broken. So you might have to sew that back on. Easy fix, but this is, you know, $190 pair of jeans. And you could rehab it, but you could just sell it as is. You don't need to fix this. G Star is very expensive. Size 30, 32. Are you planning on shipping today, Chris? No. Okay. You can do a little, because mm -hmm. I'm going to leave at 3.30, but you can do some. Okay. But we can lock up all the other units too, so that. Just do a little shipping and then take off. Sure. Do you want me to go ahead and do that right now? Unless you have anything to do. Sure. Yeah, do you want to take a, if you want to take a short break. Yeah. Yeah. Or whatever. 
whatever, yeah. G Star 3032. You need some true religion. We had a couple pieces. True religion didn't sell super well for me. Morin Cubanito. I want some Cuban coffee. I love Cuban coffee. Okay. This brand does sell well for me. Express X2, the men's jeans. Um, this is size 42 boot cut. Actually, I'm sorry. It's M42. The size is 30 by 32. So guys, make sure that when you're thrifting, you want to look at the, the tag. Wow, it's being stolen. This highway robbery. Um, it says M42, which can be confusing. It might look like men's 42, which is a fantastic size. But 3032 is a size small and less desirable or medium. But X2 sells really well for me. Express does really well. It's all about the Vietnamese coffee. I like... I like it all. I don't discriminate. Whoa. What happened? Oh, it's, it's just spam. Oh, spam. I don't even, whoa. Very interesting. You can click on <laughs> and block or hide those comments if you want to help moderate. Yeah, maybe I should. Yeah. <laughs> this is intense. Okay. Oh, wait, it's still going. Express X2 jeans. I apologize. Still going, size 30, 32. Main condition, appreciate you. Next, Madewell. <laughs> Madewell, this is size 26. This is the skinny, skinny model. I like this one because it has the detail on the knee pad. Very, very cute. Madewell jeans. We gotta book it, guys. Getting to 200 is going to be a grind. Made well for 15 bucks. You need a made well bundle? I got you. Nike, size large. Hoodie. This is probably kids large. Kids large hoodie. Very cute, gray. You want a made well bundle? I got you. My YouTube channel is called Daily Refinement. Make progress daily is my, my tagline. And also, please follow my Twitter at Daily Refinement. I'm making a new um, I'm making a new tweet storm called How to Get Rich Reselling Without Getting Lucky. I'm copying it from Naval Ravikant. And I'll show you guys how to get rich for free on Twitter. It does take 10 years though. Okay, it's not fast. Not fast. It takes 10 years of reinvesting your money. But you should be able to comfortably, thank you Stacy, comfortably make a million dollars in 10 years if you just follow the instructions. It's very hard and you have to shut up and work most of the time. So you will be able to do it. Um, and I wish I had that advice when I was younger because I'm kind of an old man at this point. And, um, you want a Madewell bundle? Let me see. Let's do one. This is going to help me reach the goal too. So guys, one way to increase the average sale price is to do a bundle. While I'm putting together the bundle, let's do something a little crazy. Crazy, crazy. Let's go Mother Jeans. Oh, question I almost missed. Leo. One second. Oh, sorry. Mother Stunner Zip Ankle Step Fray. We'll do the question after this because these are super expensive. Mother jeans. Let's try and find a size. Size 28, so fantastic size. Mother. Here's the logo on the back as well. Make, take a look out. Mother jeans sell really well for me. I would ask $79.99 for these on eBay. Mother. There's the tag. Okay, question. Question is, any size 44? No. Not, not that I know off the top of my head. But you guys want, uh, mother jeans are hard to find. I find three a week. Three a week. Okay, so we're going Madewell Bundle is what people want. It. Let's see if I can do that. Madewell Bundle. Yeah, we can get some bundles to kind of, um, are you made well bundled to resell or to wear? Because it's really hard to make it all the same size. Um, let me see. 
Wait, I gotta run this brand real quick. Resell? Okay. A Gold Day is one of the best brands that I resell. It's probably either better or the same as Mother. Size 27. <clears throat> this is a high rise kind of a crop. Look at the distressing. Very, actually, much cooler than the, the Mother jeans, to be honest. Um, also, look at these buttons. Premium button fly. Very, very cool. The distressing on this pair is really cool. Much better than the, the Mother as far as like actually being cool. Mindy, nice pickup. Mindy, I hope you wear these because they're really cool. Midwell bundle, I'm working on it. <clears throat> Midwell bundle, the Lisa. <clears throat> okay. So one thing you guys can do to increase your average sale price is sell bundles. I'm no stranger to bundles. You guys want Madewell, we're working on it. How often do you guys find Madewell where you live? <clears throat> I have Athleta too. Athleta, Prana. Question whenever you're ready. Go for it. Electric Phoenix, what's the eBay sell-through rate an item should have when purchasing it at the Goodwill bin store? Uh, Trying to find stuff that sells between 30 and 90 days. Oh no. Okay. All right, I don't have time to make more and I don't want the chat to get boring. So let's do 10 made well. Is that cool? Let me know in the chat if that is a good number to go with. <clears throat> 10 made well jeans. Yeah? <clears throat> All right, I need some water. Hype this up. Okay, starting at $1. <clears throat> 10 made well. Let's do it. 10. 10 made well jeans. First one, 10 inch high rise skinny. Size 26. First one, second one. And this is the only pair of shorts. Made well, curvy, high-rise, denim short, size 27. So 10 pairs. Then third one is slim demi boot 28T, so 28 tall, which has a longer inseam. This is probably either 34 or 36 inseam. 10 pairs here. This is a striped pair of made well. So even if the auction ends, I'm gonna show all of them for you. The high-rise slim cross boy jean. This is a really cute, honestly. Very cool, size 24, which is skinny, but. Nine inch mid-rise skinny, size 30. This is a gray charcoal color. Next question, whenever you're ready. Yeah, almost done. Okay. Okay. Made well, this one is 10 inch high-rise skinny, size 30. Frost, nice pickup. Uh, the next one is wide leg crop number size size 25. This is a really good style to resell. The wide leg crop. <clears throat> How long? I mean, do you guys find 10 made well very often? Um, lots of made well. Nine inch high rise skinny size 28 peak. I would say made well per week. I find probably 30 pieces. Good amount. Madewell, nine inch high rise skinny, size 25. And then this is a 
wide leg crop, waist size 28. That's all 10. And Christy will put these in a box with the number. So we don't keep, so we keep track of it properly. 10 pairs. That one has bras in. Mm. So we probably, 10 pairs of jeans is a lot. Fine needs a, it probably needs a double big box. You mean two of these, right? Two of these. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay that was fun. What did you guys think? One more of those? Next Have question, they? real quick. Go ahead. Okay. How do you determine what will sell in 30 to 90 days? Um, so if there is 10 of them for sale and there is between 10 and 15 sold, It'll usually sell in 30 to 60 days. Depends on how many are sold and how many are available. I'm going to do a beta brand one real quick. Um, beta brand one for y'all. I had one more made well. But what about North Face? Do you guys want a North Face lot? We could do a North Face lot. Can do a north face lot for okay. North Face? Okay, I'm gonna do North wait, do you guys want North Face or no? North Face and um, beta brand I can do. North Face? Beta brand? Okay. We'll do North Face first, and then we'll do Beta brand. Uh, let's see. So the North Face is just going to be five pieces. Interesting. It's interesting that they're, I think they're all black. You guys took a lot of North Face that's black. We had some colorful ones earlier, but these are all black. Um, I do have more Ralph Lauren. Maybe we'll do a Ralph Lauren um, bundle as well. But let's start with the North Face. You guys ready? Five North Face pieces. Five North Face. Is this one numbered, by the way? The jeans? Yeah. That one is numbered. That should be 140. This one's 1442. So 1443 sound right? Perfect. Okay. okay, guys. Five North Face items. The first one is a North Face Summit Series, size extra large men's. So North Face Summit Series with the wind stopper technology. Summit Series on the side. So that's piece number one. It is three tops and two bottoms. Second piece is the North Face Women's Turtleneck. I've never seen this before. Kind of cool. North Face Women's Turtleneck. And by turtleneck, I mean cowl neck. Size small. Nice piece. The third piece is I can't read the tag but I would guess men's large men's large north face jacket this is the apex technology and then two more these are both pants high vent snowboarding pants boys size small Steelers nice pickup that's a nice pickup. And then the last piece is uh, a women's size medium hiking, hiking tent. Nice pickup. Um, the, the shipping is cheap. It's only $5.25 on this. And then whatnot's gonna build me the difference on this particular lot. Um, normally on the lots, the pricing is a little bit different, but these items are actually relatively light, so it shouldn't be too big of a difference. Um, Steelers will just pay $5.25 for the shipping on this one. Okay, beta brand. Beta brand. Beta brand is going to be two pieces. Let's see. Is this beta? It's Adidas. Beta brand of all the brands we're selling today has one of the higher resale values. Um, I thought I had 
more beta rays. Well, at least it's a nice selection. Four, five. Wow, this makes me so sad. I would have killed it on eBay with this. Okay, so seven. <clears throat> Okay, Lulu, Dragon Bone. Oh wait, so um, Steelers. I think that because there was a kids North Face, I'm gonna give you one more men's North Face because I I want you to make sure you get a good deal. So another men's North Face. So this is for uh, Steelers. I'm gonna give you an extra piece. So this one has six. So um. Christy, this is the next number, so it's also in the box. Okay, so, um, Beta Brand, y'all ready? This is gonna be wild. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, seven pieces of Beta Brand first, then Lululemon, then Rag and Bone. So we're gonna go kinda heavier. Um, these Beta Brand pieces, I would ask on eBay a minimum of $40 a piece. So I would ask at least $280 for these. So this is very expensive beta brand. We'll go over it. The sizes range, range between extra small and extra large. There's seven total beta brand. So let me rename this real quick. Oh, I'm gonna change the shipping if I can. Make sure I can. So I'm going to um, I'll let one nine know because this shipping is going to go over. Okay, let's go. Seven items, all beta brand, all new without tags. Um, I'll show you guys the items. First item, extra large slacks. There is a little bit of a pinstripe. Seven pairs. Hard to see the pinstripe, but beta brand number one. Very nice, very good condition. Number two, beta brand extra small. There's two extra small, and the best, the rest are better sizes. This is like a burgundy brand, or burgundy red wine. Beta brand extra small, that's two. Number three, beta brand extra small. Another pinstripe design. This is a really good reseller brand, insane. Beta brand large, blue. This one has the pockets, much more desirable. Don't forget that in the listing. And the back pockets on, the, on this one. Seven pairs. Size extra large. This one has been marked to prevent store return. Extra large. Really nice. Oh, I'm getting retail here. No, I'm not. Hell no. Are you serious? Retail on seven pieces is $1,000. Come on, bruh. Nowhere near retail. Beta brand, size small. I wish I was getting, I wish, if I got retail, I would just do this all day. I do not get retail. Final piece, size medium, beta brand. Seven pieces, guys. Seven pieces, really nice beta brand. Excellent condition. I hope you keep some for yourself. Beta brand is a fantastic brand. Seven pieces. Frost, nice pickup. It's a really, really good lot. Let's put this here. Let me see where we're at on the goal. The goal is to do 3600 today for demonstration purposes. Let's see. We are at 33.19, so I need to do another 300 bucks today to reach my goal, but I want to try to make it like a little bit more, so maybe we'll try to go to 4,000. I have another 
15 minutes or so. So I'm gonna try to do my best to get you guys um, some really cool stuff. So, um, okay, what should we do? Um, let's go Lululemon next. The Nike jacket, do I have that? I'll go look. Lululemon leggings, size 10, navy blue, used. Good condition. No stains or flaws. There's the Lulu tag in the back. Bundle? Forgotten, I'm good. That's another bundle. And that one I marked as seven, so yeah. Okay. That one should be one for... 45, right? Yes. Size 10 Lulu, leggings. This one you could put, yeah, you want me to help you get big boxes? It's okay, I got yeah. it. Okay, be careful. I got it, it's all good. Moreno, thank you. Moreno, thank you, let's see. Hmm. I got you. Okay, guys. We got a limited time. Let's go. All right, everybody's still on YouTube. They're still on YouTube. Three thirty. That's okay. Yep. Okay. Too much talking. That's why we were able to get to work. We need to do too much talking. Let me see. Dragon Bone Twenty Eight. this a lot. Okay, I want to go over as many brands as I can. So this one next is uh, Prana. Prana size 628. Excellent brand. Sells really, really well for me. Outdoor hiking brand. Prana. Very, very nice. This is the logo. Looks like what does it look like, a flower? I can do some more bundles, I'm just working on making them. Mint condition, nice pickup. Okay, we're gonna do a little bundle here. Of rag and bone. Yeah, let's do rag and bone. Alright guys, let's go. This is hyped. Three Rag and Bone jeans. Rag and Bone is one of the best brands that sells for me. This is the logo that we're looking for, right here. So I'm gonna show you guys the tag. First one, blue pair, nice wash, size 25, so size zero. Excellent pair of jeans, Rag and Bone. Right there. Number two. Also size 25. This is the Dre. Dre. Five, six, seven. Yep, that's the one. This is separate, right? BC. Yeah, that's separate. Seven. Dragon Ball. And then the third one is a better size, 28. Dragon Ball and Genie, 28. Mint condition, nice pickup. This is also the Dre. So the Dre, the Dre, and the Capri. Triple Dragon Ball. Nice pickup mint condition. Appreciate you. 
can I get two white hangers, mm -hmm. please? I want to separate these because I don't want to mix it up. So those of you that are watching right now, did you learn some new brands? I can't believe I'm still on. I just started. I'm down to do a 24 hour stream. I'm hyped. Um, okay. So I think there's also a thing here I want to ask about, which is energy per hour. I think I have a lot of energy. I don't know what you guys think, but I think that that is, that helps. There's a lot to do. Okay, we got so much stuff. It's, it's really hard for me to go through all, there's really a tremendous amount of stuff. There's someone doing a 24 hour show next Saturday, nice. Uh, I don't think that I have the most items sold. Hell no. There's, way, there's people who have way more sold than me. Um, let me see. Let's do an outerwear. Outerwear bundle? Is that cool, guys? Um, I gotta change the shipping because this is way too heavy. So, let me do 10 outerwear. Nike. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a nice one. Okay. Do 10 outerwear. 10 outerwear bundle. This is gonna be a really good one. 10 outerwear. Shipping is gonna be, I think, between 10 and, or around $10. Okay, you guys can see it, right? 10 outerwear, let me get the value. Freaking stuff. This is three, yes? Yeah, so that's okay. three. All in one. Okay. Four, I think I might have enough for two lots of ten. I do. Wow. Do you guys like to resell outerwear? You want me to run some Pokemon? I tried Pokemon. I got my ass kicked. It's hard. Okay. 10 outerwear. Let's go. Um, so, safely at least $200. Um, but let me just rename this. This is lot one. There will be two outerwear lots of 10. You guys ready? Let's just start it. I'll go over them. First piece, Helly Hansen snowboarding jacket. I'll go all over all of them, even if the auction ends. Men's size medium, snowboarding jacket, Helly Hansen's the brand. Number one. Number two, Nike, San Francisco Giants hoodie, size extra large, men's. Number three, this is a really nice Nike double XL sweatshirt. It's got some crazy graphics on the side. I don't know if this is LeBron or Michael Jordan, but really nice piece with the gold pull tab. That's three. Number four, another Nike hoodie. This is size medium. 2010 tags, or 2015-ish. I'm learning my tags. This is Columbia, size extra large. This is a uh, Heavy, um, soft shell. Zach Megson has a question. Yep. Is it better to aim for a listed value total or total listing count? I sell a lot of photography stuff and it ranges from five euros to a thousand euros. So I'm unsure whether I should be aiming for the same value or not. Listing number two. Under Armour, dark green hoodie, size large. 49ers hoodie. 
This is a NFL, size 3XL, so really good size there. 10 pieces, guys. Adidas full zip hoodie. <laughs> Number nine, champion. Reverse weave, size small, spell out. Kelly. North Face comments. jacket, size I would like small, to men's. Respond Please. to a comment if that's okay. Yeah, go ahead. Kelly says, I'm watching to see if I could handle doing this because I'm a very shy person. Kelly, I just want you to know that you absolutely can. You absolutely can. This is bundle number one. You want to take it? Yes. So I would put this in a um, one of those medium boxes. Okay. You go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe you can number it or label it out of where one. Okay. Okay. I got so many other things to do today. It's, it's crazy. Oh, guys, also, if you're not on the Patreon, um, it's a good idea to join. And the best day to go is the um, is Tuesday because Tekken Sports, the greatest reseller of all time, runs that call. We run the part, we run the mentorship together. But on Tuesday night, he does coaching, and he he sells 250 items a day. All his businesses combined in reselling clothing is five million dollars a year. I got you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if they'll fit in here. We can try. I don't I'll do think my so. best. Um, it's yeah. maybe. It's okay. 10, you said? Yeah, 10. Mm. I think it's tight. You can try, though. Okay. Make condition, you got it. Okay, here we go. Lot number two. 10 pieces. Y'all ready? Let's go. First piece FSU, Florida State University. Red and gold. You have 10 pieces of outerwear. Second piece Adidas. Full zip. Hoodie. Number three, Columbia, size medium, fleece. Number four, USC, Nike, quarter zip. Trojans, let's go. Harpoon, I think this is this a movie. Harpoon hoodie. Number six, lurking class. It's a cool jersey. Or a cool I love hoodie. that brand. You do? Mm -hmm. That's the jacket I'm wearing, I think. Yeah, oh. Lurking Class. So, Christine knows Lurking Class. Is it expensive? It's um mid. It's like Zoomies, Tilly's. Got you guys. Last four North Face. North Face, quarter zip, sweater. North Face, vest. North Face, hoodie. And the last one is another North Face hoodie. So the last four pieces of this lot were North Face, which is nice. So 10 outerwear pieces. Um, siren for the big deal, absolutely. Nice pickup, nice pickup. We're still going. So 10 pieces of outerwear, the last four pieces were uh, North Face. Reselling, obviously, outerwear sells for a lot more. Um, yeah. Goal today, guys, is to sell 4,000. Or, I mean, actually, 3300 plus 300 for the shoe. So 3600 would be a $2,000 profit. My cost of goods on this stuff was around $800. So I'm trying to show you guys on the stream what kind of brands to sell. Um, most of this stuff sells for a lot more on eBay, to be honest, because you're not trying to sell it in this ridiculous format where it's really fast. Um, so it is what it is. I've got, a, I've got four more minutes, so I'm going to run a couple more auctions. Let me see where I am at. Oops, sorry. Let me see where I'm at for the day. Tomorrow morning I will help you with shipping. Okay. Um, okay, so the goal is 3,600 today. We're at 3,763, so we already reached our goal. Already a $2,000 profit for the day which is the goal for the YouTube channel. So if you guys were to just prep all week and just do one stream a week, uh, or list all on one day, my recommendation, if I was gonna do this solo, is I would list all on Sunday, do the whole thing on Sunday. Um, but let's do this. Let's do, 
I'm just going to empty one of these and then switch it. Perfect. Um, we're going to do two lots of 15 and I'll go over all the brands with you guys. Okay, what's the question? For solo sellers too? Solo is exactly the same. Solo would be exactly the same. Um, so you, if, if you picked all the stuff at the Goodwill binge, your cost would be even lower. My cost of goods on this stuff was was um, was around 800. So your cost of goods will be lower if you go get it yourself. Any more Lulu? Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's do some Lulu. You ready? Let's do some Lulu. Why not? Y'all ready? Um, I, so I just did that YouTube video talking about how I got $18,000 off of Lulu. Let me just spread the love with you guys. So 10 Lulu Lemon Bras, all brand new. MSRP is $1,000. one of these. Shipping will be nine to thirteen dollars for, for ten bras. These are the um, air support bras. Okay. Ten outerwear or do you want me to put forty eight on it? On this one? The 10 oh. outerwear? Oh, 10 outerwear, that's a lot too. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys. Lot two? Um, that's lot two, yeah. That's the second one that you did, right? The 10 outerwear? Yeah. Is that the second one or the first box? Of the 10? Oh, that's box one. Okay. Yeah, and then this is box two here. Okay. Cool. All right, guys. Just for fun. 10 Lululemon bras, they're all air support. They're varying sizes between 36 and 38 triple D. And this is the logo, they're $98 each. So this is a kind of a wholesale deal to help you guys resell. 10 Lululemon air support bras, they're brand new, they're dead stock. They're ready to go, ready to sell. Um, MSRP nine, $998. They're all different sizes. So, um, but between 32 and 38. And um, most of them are the bigger sizes because the bigger sizes are better. Like 38 double D was a really good, sold really well for me. So I can go over the sizes with you guys now. 38 double D, 38 double D, 38 double D. Mostly 38 double D. Yep. 136 D, so it looks like 938 double D and 136 D. So all great size. What a steal, are you serious? Oh my, it almost sold for 280. That's a crazy deal. That's $28 of bra. Brand new guys. Brand new bras. Are you kidding me? 10. Wow. There's only one listing too, one set of pictures. What a score. What a score. Crazy deal. Okay, I can take those 10 outerwear now. Got you. Thank you, Kristen. No problem. It's a crazy steal. Crazy steal. Great size. 38 double D and 136 D. Amazing size. Screaming deal. Frost 522. Appreciate you. That's a little bit of Lulu for you guys. Um, okay. So we're going to do two sets of 15. Okay, so I'm going to show all 15 of these items twice. You guys ready? Thrift special. 15 items. Okay, I'll show all 15 pieces. Y'all ready? Okay, let's do it. 15 pieces, guys. I'm gonna show all 15 pieces. Adidas, size small. 
These are joggers. <clears throat> Number two, Levi's made or Levi's size four low rise jeans. They are brand new, dead stock. I'll show you guys. So 15 pieces. The value is going to be around ten dollars plus shipping or more for them. So we're looking at these are some Tiger Woods golf pants. Um, I think since this stuff, it, it depends on the stuff, but I'm going to show you all of them on the screen right now. Golden State Warriors t-shirt, extra large, brand new. A lot of pants in this one. So this is a pair of Vuori, which is a really, really good brand to resell. That YouTube guy, A Thrifted Life, I believe, this is his favorite men's brand to sell. Vuori shorts. Someone's stealing this from me. 15 pieces, we're at a dollar a piece. DC, heavyweight, either like motorcycle, motocross pants. These are really thick and heavy. 15 pieces, guys. Adidas t-shirt. Under Armour t-shirt. Mickey, Disney, size large. This is really cool. Uh, I think the Lulu soles are like 60 to $70 on that bra, the air support bra. Kelly has another question. What's up? Sorry about that, Kelly. Welcome, Hergo. So the question is, how do you know how much someone paid for a lot of clothing? Wait, what? Uh, oh, they, they, there's bidding online. Mint condition, nice pickup. Adidas shorts. So this is a screaming deal because Mint condition got these for $5 a piece. And she got this pair of designer Vince pants, which is a steal. I didn't even get to the good stuff, which is, which is cool because Mint Condition is a repeat buyer. Give her some good stuff. This is the jean that everyone said was the top seller before. Levi's 550. Levi's 550 and Levi's 560 are my top selling ones. Chris Starr also had a question. Yep. So did you make your 15 average per piece? Let me see. Diesel brand. Okay, so diesel. Some heavy hitters at the end here. And the Banana Republic Traveler paint. Okay, so let me see the average. You guys ready? <clears throat> and I got a roll. <clears throat> so we sold 200 pieces today. And the total of the... <clears throat> the total of the auctions was 4,224. But let's subtract the... Lululemon, Lots, and the um, Shack -sh -sh Gnosis. So we're right there at around 3,500 for 200 pieces. So around $17. So right on the money. The goal today was $1,650, and we did $1,700 or $17 for the average price. So kind of interesting. Um, I just did one lot of 15 at the end, and we gave it away essentially to mint condition. These pieces only sold for. Uh, five, four dollar, four or five dollars a piece. So on this last lot, I broke even and main condition got diesel and they got Vince. So those two pieces alone will pay for the lot. So screaming deal. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna put these on the floor. So I know, this will be the last lot and I'll help you ship this tomorrow. Or you can ship it now. This is the uh, oh, these are one. For a special. These are, these, this is just the last lot. Okay. But we did it guys. I'm going to call it because I got an appointment at 4 o'clock. So thank you, everyone. Um, bye, guys. Thank you on YouTube. Appreciate everybody. Okay. <clears throat> How do I end this?